Oh, and... look, the board isn't on the stream. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this happens sometimes, mm -hmm. but it's an easy fix. Yeah, very easy. But um, I guess the Pog Champs might still be going on. I'm not really sure oh, yeah, about I that really schedule. Been following that. I haven't either. I heard I heard that the Pogs are getting champed though. <laughs> They're champing at the bit, <laughs> right? I know which one says. Oh, let's... It's a, yeah, it's that one. Yeah, oh, I know what that. Well, yeah, it. that's fine. Yeah, let's do that, and then I'll switch it to the live. Chess. Getting that pause rush going. <laughs> All right, now we're ready. That looks much so, better. So, uh, what score do you think I got when I was doing three minute puzzle rush during my tattoo? Well, tell me what your best was ever, and then I'm thirty eight. Okay, so that means you must have beat it. <laughs> no, no, I did way worse. Oh, I, you did during a tattoo. Oh, during a tattoo. <laughs> oh, when you're yeah. in pain. Oh, at the worst. And I also, I could only use one hand. Oh. Because my other hand was being tattooed on. Yeah, I don't know. What do you <laughs> <Ten>? think? <laughs> I got 26. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe you were just like, ah. <laughs> no, yeah, it was tough. I got a lot wrong. Like, there were some times I got like 10, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I tried it a few times and I got 29 or 26 okay. eventually. So that was pretty good, I thought. Mm -hmm. Pretty solid stuff. Yeah. That's how you know you're a chess warrior. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, let's see if we have that. It looks like we have one viewer. That's probably, probably us. Honest, yeah. yeah, that's probably us. But we're the but, best um, viewer around, so. We're we're the coolest Our own stream. harshest critic. <laughs> we're, we have to love ourselves, you know. Yeah, I was like, uh, you know, putting the, or you exported the, the stream to YouTube, and I was putting a little information there. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, we had so much stuff there. Like, we've, we've got you playing chess and me analyzing, mm -hmm. and uh, like a middle game section, and That's we had right. puzzles. Yeah. Like, we got a lot working. This is the best We got dream. a lot working. It's very instructive stuff. <laughs> like, you guys should be doing puzzles and studying the middle game. And watching our stream. Come yeah, on, yeah. It get is, on it here. It is pretty good stuff. Uh, and I'm and totally then, not biased. Too. And we get Ben on here <laughs> occasionally, and he's right. guest. I did That's wanna, always fun. I did have, <laughs> like, originally, I thought it would be fun because it's in a chess club channel, Karen, ATL. You know, we'd have mm. some different yahoos that come through the club could guest on there. But the oh, club, yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. I that'd had originally cool. thought. Some yahoos? But, <laughs> Certainly. But, you know, the club hasn't been open. All right, so, well, maybe that's a post-COVID idea. Yeah, yeah. That was like Dave, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely uh, Dave. Oh, yeah, definitely he's Dave. a character. I mean, uh, Richard? Rich, oh, yeah. Richard? Oh, yeah. I would definitely love Richard to get Richard on. Uh, I would love Richard. him. I love Richard. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but um, Brad, he's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Different people that want to get on. Totally, I think Brad would be down for it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not seeing anybody. Sometimes the problem. Right. Well, it's two now, <clears throat> so that means probably somebody else is watching. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, most some, likely. sometimes the notifications don't go out immediately. Right, I, right, right. I don't have my phones, and I don't even know if I would be notified. By myself. Hey, Southern Chris. Hey, how's it going, Southern how's Chris? How's it going? Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, it's Thaddeus. There's Thaddeus. That's all two people. Oh, kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. What's they're up, kangaroo? flooding in. Yeah, they're like, look at this. Great stream. <laughs> yeah, the absolutely. best stream out there. Hidden jewels. Yeah, we're speaking a little French. Well, Bonjour. I was born in Belgium. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, I can't speak any French. Mm. Je parle un peu de français. Oh, oui. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's GM Benjamin Feingold. Look at that. <laughs> Using those great emotes. Come. I especially Come like the one va? of me. Très bien. <laughs> Yeah, we need, I need to update those, redo them. Hey, Scottish Demon Goat, how's it going? Yeah, it's not fair that your name's shorter, so it's bigger. <laughs> you know? Wait, what? Your name is shorter than mine. It's only five letters instead of seven. Yeah. So it's bigger, you know? Oh, that's right. But your name is still... It's very legible. Red. Yeah, and the it's funny thing legible. was, when I first made mine, I had not made yours yet. And then 
somehow it got used on Rosen's stream. And I was over there and he goes, oh, yeah. oh I didn't know you could see the word. Like he hadn't used any with words yet because mm-hmm. he was still relatively new streaming. But he, he admired the fact that you could, it was legible. Yeah, totally. Hey, friend Jaridi. How's it going? Oh, it looks like you got uh, some challenges yeah, let me here get, let from get the going. regulars. A couple um, of regulars. <clears throat> let me push this back. This back. And this oh, hey, Carla. Back. Making a mistake later? What is it? What, uh, <laughs> that's foreboding, right? Hey, Carla. <laughs> I think, Carla, aren't you the title player that asked yeah, me yeah. would I play I her? Of course I would I love remember. to play her and get the beat down. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gives me the beat down. What's your mistake? We want to hear. What's your mistake? She's talking to you. Don't you? <laughs> I, hear? I, 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 uh, you know, I responded. Oh, what'd you say? <laughs> you know, something appropriate. <laughs> it was something appropriate. I missed it. All right, here we go. I say a lot of things. You know? <laughs> but what is a mistake? Oh, oh. So Carla's saying that uh, they're streaming later <clears throat> and not going to end the stream until they get a hundred in survival puzzle rush. Oh, that's the mistake you made. Yeah, that could be a mistake, man. Yeah, you could be stuck there. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of your life could be that. That's what we really call survival. Yeah, right. That's true survival. How's it going, Super Baguette? Hey, Super Baguette. Hey, you kitty. I need to pay better attention. <laughs> Otherwise, you know. My, your personal best is 61. That's pretty good. <clears throat> and the master with purple hair. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate that hair. Yeah, I'm going to have to touch it up soon. It's, you can see it's many different colors. And uh, it should just be one color. <laughs> yeah. But some of it's a little bit more <clears throat> faded than other parts. Yeah, it's a lot of work to have colored hair. I actually, I already have the boxes and everything. I'm oh, just too lazy to actually do it. It's tough. It's a tough life, you know. Mm-hmm. But I got a tattoo recently, so give me a break. You know, I got I had a lot going on. <laughs> a tattoo and coloring my hair in one day would be a lot of pain for somebody who's such a baby, you know. Tra- I've never thought I'd see the day where Karen would trade queens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it does happen. What opening is this? I've never seen it. I think it was a, uh, I think it was a Winowar French Poison Pawn variation. Kangaroo getting pretty aggressive. Mm-hmm. You know, if my name was Kangaroo, a knight would definitely be my favorite piece because of the jumping, you know? Yeah, definitely. You got it, Scottish Demon Goat. <laughs> really solid stuff. Here comes the trade. Looks like kangaroos in the trading business. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I get it, you know. All right. Could have been smart. See, this is he's getting all of his trades in before we get the never trade emote. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? Karen makes the best choices, like trading queens <laughs> and marrying Ben Fungal. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both choices. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, let's see if I got air. I like Kangaroo's plan. It's hope that you miss Pawn Takes Bishop. Um, it's a pretty good plan, but unfortunately, he didn't miss it, so his plan didn't quite work. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, he might have some other ideas concerning the situation. Well, we'll have to see if you're right about that. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's The Rock Obama. How's it going? Good to see you again, The Rock Obama. Oh, it's the suspenser. Always good to see another Spencer. 
Marrying Ben Feingold is an inaccuracy that led to a lot of complications. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd give it question mark X clan? Oh, and Doric's here. How's it going, Doric the hey, cat? Hey, Doric. Mm. <clears throat> H3, get a little luft. Get a little luft. Really solid stuff. I can, uh, I, I can really appreciate that. But I, I don't know why you guys are playing so slow. I don't know what's going on. What am I missing? What what's do, going on? What do we miss stuff? All right. He stopped his fork there. I mean, I don't know what's going on there. That must have been like a weird mouse slip or something. I mean, I don't even think? understand. Like, I don't understand that move. There, no, it had to be something, but I don't know. It could have been like a weird mouse slip. He wanted to play B5. Oh, yeah, he did say it was a mouse slip. Oh, okay. And that move Sorry, make man, because I was trying to figure out, like, what am I missing? And I do miss a lot, let's be clear. Like, B4, double <laughs> X, but I'm still theory. <laughs> Uh, but he's gonna soldier on. I like it. Definitely should soldier on. It's me. Yeah. Come on. Definitely. Sometimes you happen. hang a piece with a mouse slip. Yeah, I've been there. It just happens. I've won many games after mouse slips. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you even mouse slip a better move. You know, you're like, oh wait, that was better. Mm -hmm. The big check. Karen's got her beloved e5 square. Every uh, every London player's dream. That e5 square. And being up a piece, I guess. Mm -hmm. The mouse slip of destiny. That's an interesting way of putting it. It's like kind of deep stuff. Hey, that dude that showed up for the senior club today. Mm -hmm. He's talking about how, like, there's so many uh, possibilities in a chess game, like 10 to the 120th, uh, that it's like looking into infinity, you know, playing chess. I was like, that's pretty deep stuff, dude. That's pretty deep stuff. I have no idea what that's even all about. <laughs> Just because there's so many options, like, it's, ba it's basically infinite. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what he said. Yeah, you know? no, that's fine. But I was, I was kind of agreeing with him, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Did I get up in there? Karen's getting that queen side going. Let's see what kangaroo's up to. I love uh, kangaroo's king's position, though. Solid and active. It's mm -hmm. like comfy and current. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The Rock Obama. I already showed it off uh, yesterday, you know, my new tattoo. Only two days old. Infinity is infinitely more infinite than chess. Hmm. I'll have to take that under advisement. Dang, look at Karen go. Up a piece, but she's still playing for the attack. That's how you do it. Never stop blasting. Let's see. I'm not sure what to do. Might as well uh, take that freebie, huh? If it's free, it's for me. How's it going, Frosty? Tattoos are addictive. I was just saying to Karen before the stream, I can't wait to get another tattoo. Isn't that right, Karen? Yeah. You learned a lot from the, the pawn breaks yesterday. I can tell. You made several good pawn breaks this game.
but kangaroo's trying his best. Mm -hmm. What's my next tattoo gonna be? Probably, uh, probably it'll be like a, a, a music, a music-based tattoo. I don't want to get another video game tattoo for a, at least a couple tattoos. But I am going to get a lot more tattoos in my future. There's no doubt about that. This dark square control. Straight out of John Nunn's uh, weak color complexes. Mm -hmm. tough there mm -hmm. that was a good game though he really fought back on the clock because he was behind for a while mm. that was gg <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a tough game I hate being so slow i'm gonna solve this problem i just it's taking a, a while to get i'm slow at getting faster <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's like an exponential problem. Will yeah. happen. It will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway. So here the most accurate move, in my opinion, is, is knight d2. Um, this move, uh, probably queen b6 is annoying. It's that same thing with bishop f5, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so knight d2, your rook won't be hanging at the end, is the point. So, uh, But he actually plays bishop g4, which is also probably pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Baboon, how's it going? But yeah, this is like kind of, uh, you know, easy for Black here. Black's doing pretty well. He got his white square bishop out, and he got in c5. So he's got no problems at all. Trading queens was interesting. Now, see, the main focus in this structure is usually like this. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what you guys should be focusing on mostly. This that move does do that because... Now your rook is protected, so you could play a3 and it won't be pinned on the a file. Mm -hmm. So knight d2 does protect b4 in that way, and it develops a knight. So that's a good move. Knight e4, that's uh, an interesting move. I, I don't really know if it if it was best. This move makes sense. And then trading. Now, for example, he could go here, mm -hmm. and it, and if you play here, he can do this because you're pinned. I was already thinking about that, I think, because my next move was rookie one. Yeah, 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 yeah I was exactly. Start, I was already thinking This is a classic that. situation in yeah. London. Even White does this sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, when it's Definitely. the open A file. Yeah, you have to know. Yes, yes. So this is a common situation. So because of that, 94 is like an interesting move because that was sort of a threat, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, how to handle this, I don't know, because it's, it's kind of... Uh, I know I should have pre-moved. I forgot about the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was so absorbed in the chess, I forgot about the time. I thought I was ahead on time. Anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to see how you can handle this, because that was actually a pretty good move. I know it was a good move. Yeah, I'm a yeah. crappy time watcher is what it is. All right, I got it, I got it. Okay. H3. I did go there, I thought. like. Well, way later, I mean. Oh, is it what? Okay. But anyways, I'm just trying to avoid him trading the stuff, and then your rooks are not connected, so he can break, and you can't play a3. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's what I'm trying to avoid, and I think this move does it. Because if he takes the knight, you just take back with the knight. I thought about, do yeah, I thought about doing that. I was a little um, worried that maybe I wasn't calculating. Right, or he can go here, but then you take this, mm -hmm. and then you've won the bishop pair. Oh, I missed this, obviously. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that didn't work. So I would have blundered, yeah, like you were saying. Yeah, that's what I was worried exactly. about. So yeah, that's yeah. why I just went ahead. Because I looked at all like that, that, and I was like, well, that looks no, scary. Yeah. I didn't see this. Oh, okay. At all. Um, but, so yeah, um, H3 doesn't work. No, it's tough, then. I can't really figure out what to do. I can't really figure out how to solve all the problems, you know. 94 is a pretty interesting move. I like it. Yeah. If, if you just, you could try this, right? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good move. It's it. I mean, minimum, it's an interesting move. Mm -hmm. Like, because we I can't figure it out yet. At mm -hmm. least, maybe this is it though. Because, um, 
The rooks are disconnected though right now, but I guess yeah, I still don't have time. If I go here, you go there, which I don't want. If I do this, even for example, like this is good. Well, actually I have stuff hanging, so maybe not. I don't know, maybe bishop d1. Let's see what the computer says. Bishop d1 is the recommendation, but it still likes black. I think 94 is just the best move. It's, pre it's pretty good, yeah. I mean, black actually has a few options. Black should be a little bit better here. Yeah, but wait, 94 wait, was a good move, wait, and b5 too. What's the most recommended move, though? Here, bishop d1 and rook e1 are oh, about the same. About the same, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, black should just be better here. That's all there is to it. Black's just a little better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he didn't actually push on the queen side, so now you're you're probably about equal again. I don't like g5 at all. I mean, why hey, would turn, you put the thing on a dark square? Yeah, I thought that was weird. Yeah. Hey, turn turn the engine on for a sec. I just want to see. Like here? Yeah, just during this whole little section. Yes. All right. It says it's... Oh, let's get rid of the um, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's get rid of that and just leave that up. Yeah, b5 is the move, right? b5 is the move. Oh, it actually kind of likes g5 too. But what is the point of g5? I didn't understand. I thought that that was a bad move yeah. too, but it likes that. Hmm. Rig f1 is best, yeah. Well, I mean, the computer said like a lot of moves were about as good. You have to let it sit for like a long time to figure it out. I'm I think, you know, it's hard to say that one moves best, just the engine likes it just for a second. Mm -hmm. It could change its mind after an hour, you know. Or you can play through variations and it'll change its mind. So, it's kind of tough to say, but okay, it does like the, it wants to just play to gain space. You know, I guess that's pretty interesting. I wouldn't necessarily naturally do that. I would just go like this with black. Mm -hmm. That seems like really easy to do. But I guess now you've, you have it defended though. So, yeah, yeah. Get, just gaining some space. Yeah, should... white should definitely play E4. Yeah. I was... Totally. Yeah. yeah, here E4 is just too clear too clearly the move you know definitely yeah the engine likes it the best too but again you know it's going to move around a bit but e4 is definitely yeah now it even just says it's equal e4 has to be the move yeah I mean, you're, you're just in perfect position for it and that's the problem with black playing c4 is mm -hmm. that it releases the pressure here making e4 more palatable uh, okay yeah because yeah, right. you're not always breaking with e4 in the london but mm -hmm. when the structure is, is like this it's definitely the way to go so this, this move probably is a little bit better still. But yeah, I think this is the way to go, generally at least. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were trying to gain space. Well, you were, you yeah. know, as okay, but that obviously smart as the blunder. engine. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, you know, you've got a lot of ideas because it's a pretty solid position. Mm -hmm. um, so you can you can play on both sides of the board, right? You can play all over the place. Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you should have gone for, for a quick uh, yeah, E4. Because was... you don't want to really play B, A, B3 in the structure. You know, you don't really want to play B3 in that structure. You want to play A3 to lock it down. So E4 is really like your main pawn break. That's I really see. your main, and you just main leave pawn it break. Down, yeah. yeah. Right, you wanted to, that's what I thought. That's what I said, remember? I said he wanted, he wanted to play b6, b5, but it was like a weird mouse slip where he touched this instead yeah. and went too far. At the same, I knew it. Dude. I knew. It. I said exactly that. Mm -hmm. Sad now that Daft Punk's playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're playing That's on mobile. Stuff. I forgot. Yeah, you always have to play on mobile. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, da I heard about Daft Punk. I, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, that was in the news. It was on uh, CNN, I think. F four yeah. is probably not the easiest because you blocked your guy. You know, your bishop's kind of bad now. Yeah. But you still should be winning with an h4 break. Also, uh, <clears throat> I mean, this was a pretty good idea. Yeah, look at this. This is some John Nunn stuff. No, I mean, you played it great. Probably that, right? Yeah. But okay, it doesn't even matter too much. This is a good idea. He probably should have kept the two pawns on the dark squares like that, because now you sneak in, which is what you did. Yes. Yeah, this is nice. Then rook a6, yeah. No, you're just playing great. It's just good stuff, but the time got you, that's all. And then it was just madness at the end. <laughs> yeah, alright. Good game. That was a good G -G. game. GG. Yeah, that was a good game.
Yeah, it was tough but fair. Mm. Although not too fair. <laughs> All right, let's see where we are. So yeah, I think I can keep playing then. Totally. You yeah. got a three a three minute challenge. Mm -hmm. You're gonna so, have to really speed it up against the goat. Though. The goat. I wonder if it's charged up enough for me to use the wireless. Yeah, part. I don't really like the wire. All right, let's try it out. Mm. There we go. Yay. Go Karen, says plain true. Karen will play you, will baboon Polly. Um, but probably, I don't know, This this we might do one or two more chess games, but then we're going to be looking at the book, The Good Book by John Nunn about uh, chess middle games, understanding chess middle games, which we will never finish. <laughs> It'll just <laughs> never be completed. We will finish it. We will never, never stop. I think that he's just writing more of the book as we're looking at it, and then he adds it to the Kindle, you know, mm -hmm. just to, like, mess with us. That was awesome when Ben won when he started down a queen, bishop, and knight. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Is this D3 stuff actually a line LOL? Well, Queen E2 is a move. On move 2, but after D5, white usually takes on D5. So, uh, Scottish Demon goes just on his own. He's just, he's tired of Karen's French. It's too solid. He want, He has to do some weird stuff. Oh, yes, I remember that kangaroo from uh, when Sideshow Bob and Bart were singing classic Simpsons. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, he was singing HMS Pinafore, but that's how I know it, of course. I didn't know it <laughs> before that. I like how uh, Bart like asked him to sing that as if a 10-year-old would know about the HMS Pinafore, <laughs> you know? But I guess Bart is pretty plugged in. Let's see, so I go to Hung Upon, that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Now, now he's got more open lines. Bart loves Gilbert and Sullivan. Perhaps. Oh, Karen getting on the aggressive. Trickery and deceit. Hate to see it. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out that uh, that class tonight about the games of uh, Tall and Fisher. They played quite a quite a lot of games. Tall had a pretty good pretty good score. Pretty pretty good. Oof. Do you think he said boom shakalaka when he played that? Because I know I would have. Um. Uh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> if there was ever a time to. Mm -hmm. Look at that defense. Solid defense there. That's true, kangaroo. Darn. 
There's nothing I can do. Nothing left to say but goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. GG go. He tricked you there with the pin, right? Yeah. He got, he got you with that old pin. That was really the uh, the crux of the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, you were playing really well there. I mean, you were winning, obviously, frankly. <laughs> hey, Bowler, how's it going? Hey, it's Bowler. Good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that, wow. Barack Obama. Crazy, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is going on there? He's just trying to get views. Yeah, that's all? Yeah. I kind of want to see it. Now. I've been in <laughs> Yeah, so I'm saying. I've emailed with the guy. It's all good. All right, so Queen E2, that's a weird move. I think this is actually named after Chagorin, this variation. Okay. Um, D5 is okay, but it sort of runs into the point of Queen E2, which is they're, they're going to take and make you take with the queen. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's actually a lot of better options, I think. One funny move is E5, you know? <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, or you, like a no more normal move would be C5, perhaps. Um, what else? I don't know. I mean, you can even go like B6. I don't really think that's in your style. I think probably you'd like E5 actually the most. Mm -hmm. I like E5. I, that does seem like a move I'd make. I like to yeah. impede movement. Yeah, impede that movement. <laughs> that's and then like he played D3, which is pretty strange. And then he started pushing. Mm -hmm. So you got kind of like a French-like position, but his queen is on e2, which doesn't seem right. Probably should even try to play f4. So like this is like, remember in the other game when you should have played e4, but you played knight f3? Uh, yeah. This is like the same thing. You should be playing e5. Instead you played knight f6. e5, definitely. Get that white square bishop going. Okay. You gotta get that white square bishop going. I, I promise you it's the best move. Unless there's like a tactic. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't like that. This is what I want. See, look at that. I knew it. <laughs> Although every move is winning. <laughs> but even still, my move's the best. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Um, this is like a very weakness of mine <clears throat> that I am aware of. Um, I'm always really reluctant to make a pawn break like that because I unprotect the D pawn. It makes everything yeah. a little bit um, less defended. Totally. And I understand I have to be less defended if I want to be aggressive. I'm just explaining to you. It does hold me back as a player. Totally. And that was in my mind, thinking about that pawn break and feeling like it seemed a little tenuous. Yeah, yeah. Well, l let me put it <laughs> to you this way. Like, yeah. you have to balance in chess, you know, solidity with aggression yeah obviously if you're too aggressive then you, you could fall apart and if you're mm -hmm. too solid then you're going to be passive with your pieces yeah so like if you don't push then your white square bishop's going to be passive i know no i know i need to do that and point. another thing is that you know i would be confident to do this because i want my pawns on dark squares you know that would be signaling to me that i this is the right strategic approach Oh, that's the other point. I didn't even squares. think about that. Yeah, because I don't have the dark square bishop right, anymore. Exactly. I didn't really even think about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to but be that, that would give me the confidence to do that. To do that, even yeah. another reason to. Totally. I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, but even here, this looked pretty good for you. Because mm -hmm. eventually you did play e5, I believe. Yeah, I think to, the, to get the knight to move. This would yeah. Be annoyed right. by the knight. But yeah, here was the blunder. You were getting aggressive. You were feeling yourself. Yeah. Here. You're like, boom, look at me. But then he got you. <laughs> yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah, you were on a roll. You had the momentum, right? But yeah. But it was, uh, it was like a little bit of a trick. It was a goat trick. That's what it was. So all you got to do is move your queen, I guess. But it's actually not very easy because if you, you got to keep your pawn protected, right? In in theory. So if you move your queen somewhere. Uh, like here, he can hit you. Mm -hmm. So you could counterattack though, like this. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. I'm not really sure if that's best, but I assume that you could play normally and just be be winning. But this looks just fine, you know, over here. Because even this move might run into some. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't care about that. That's stupid, right? It's Queen A4. Who cares about that? Yeah, I mean, even like some normal move should win. There, it was hard to you see know? that. It was hard for yeah. for me to see that because when the knight 
before the night moved. It wasn't a pin. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, it was like a this. potential pin, right. <laughs> discovered pin. So I don't see those very well, unfortunately. Right, right. I guess a lot of people. Yeah, you don't. gotta watch out when they're lined up like that. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I, mean, I can see it sometimes. I didn't see that. And then uh, that was about it. You know, it was. Uh, also, you know, the clock court was getting you too. Mm -hmm. This was a good defense, but. But yeah, it's it's busto. Yeah, yeah. It was a good try, but it was still busto. Um, you have to send me a challenge baboon. Um, I'm Karen ATL Test Club on test dot com, and then you oh you're in the queue. You're in the queue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're about to do a lesson. Did you I want think. to start up the book? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I yeah we're gonna um, but I'll play some people at the end. So let me tell you who's um in the queue. It's logic. Then the suspenser, then Frosty, then Baboon. So I, I mention that order because sometimes the, the challenges time out. So I'll honor that order if you remind me at the end. But Logic is next, I think. Rook H7 was really good. I, I even, I don't know if you had the thing muted, but I even asked if, if he said Boom Shakalaka when, when you played it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that was a good tactic there. <laughs> oh, that's funny, kangaroo. <laughs> I didn't see you in the queue, the Rock Obama. You want to check it one more time when you get a moment? He, he wasn't. Oh, yeah, but, I remember, it but just in case. It was only four people. Well, okay, it could have come yeah. back in. Yeah, see? you're still not there. Hmm. <laughs> Road Trip 70 says suspicious. <laughs> You added me earlier. Yeah, you're in. You're in the queue. If you mean as a friend, I can go and accept all those. I haven't um, checked this. Oh, lately. I, we got we got your challenge now, the rock. Oh, here, yeah, yeah, here it came in. Plus another one, Brock for M. Um, Pewter City. Pewter City. I yeah, think, you're in I there. I think that's uh, a Pokemon reference, perhaps. Oh. Oh, you sent me a, ch a challenge oh, a couple of days ago or a friend request. Well, I'll check it. I don't check them every day. Okay, I got <laughs> the position set up here. Let me just type in the names. Wong Hao. Yeah. Oh, you made the king walk all the way back to your queen side? And Kornav. It's real fun when the king does the king walk and if you win. Mm -hmm. Those games are always fun because you feel like such a badass. Okay. I had a game where, uh, this is no joke, I castled queenside, mm -hmm. and then I walked my king all the way up here like this, and I had my queen on f6, and the guy like gave up a rook to not get mated. Uh. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I walked my king all the way up there. <laughs> really good. And earlier in the game, I sacrificed a rook. Wow. Yeah, really exciting game. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, this section is called Pawn Chains. Oh, well, good. Welcome, Legion. We're just starting the lesson portion of the perfect stream. timing. Yeah, perfect timing. Pawn chains. This, this is, is perfect because we're just talking about pawns and how, and I don't always know when to do my breaks. So. Right, right, absolutely. Um, yeah, this will go hand in hand with the previous section, which was pawn breaks. Mm -hmm. True. So Wang Hao against Kornev from Russian Team Championship 2008. This is a typical position with central pawn chains. White chain consists of the pawns on d4 and e5, while black's pawn chain is formed by the pawns d5, e6, and f7. White's pawns are more advanced, so he controls more space. The side with the more advanced pawn chain generally has an automatic advantage based on extra space, at least while there are still many pieces on the board. However, this advantage only applies when the pawn chain is secure. If it can be undermined by enemy pawn advances, then any latent advantage may well disappear. The traditional theory of pawn chains is that they should be attacked at the base rather than the head. Like that, right? Mm -hmm. But this rule has so many exceptions that it can be disregarded. Dang, harsh. So, okay, so I mean, so a pawn chain you're saying should be... I actually thought it was a... I mean, why can you not attack it at the head? If it, cause then that or he just said... Or he just said ignore that oh ignore that. Just oh. Said that okay yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I was confused like I already ignore that yeah <laughs> yay thank you for that gift sub Craig Jennings 
to yickety. Here the traditional theory implies that white should play f4, g4, f5 to attack on e6, but only a brave man would advance so many pawns in front of his own king. Instead, white successfully ignores traditional pawn chains theory and plays to exploit his space advantage. Okay, let's see what Wang Hao does. Knight e1. Planning to meet f6 with f4, maintaining the pawn chain. c5. Black attacks the base of white's pawn chain, but it's easy for white to support d4 with c3 and c4. It's clear that attacking the securely defended d-pawn won't help black. Oh, look at that. Yay, thank you for that. Another gift sub. Nice. Thank Double you, Greg up. Jennings. Thank you. You know, because one thing is he can't really attack this pawn with even the knights. Or the knights should be here and there. Mm -hmm. His knights are kind of poorly placed. Yeah, that's true. And in the French structure, all this is obviously Carol Khan, but in the French structure, the knight is generally badly placed here. Because uh, mostly because it doesn't attack this. And g3 just pacifies it immediately. So that's a pretty pretty bad square for the knight. And so he just goes for c4, <clears throat> figuring he can't attack this anyway. Um, but the advance of b5, b4 is, is impossible because of on passant, right? I'm trying to reroute. H4, x clam. Queen a4, dubious. The immediate attack on the head of black's pawn chain is more effective. b3, x clam. For example. Here. Give me that. I'll check. <laughs> Hate off out f4 pro. And takes. <laughs> White has a large advantage. Totally. <clears throat> I mean, this knight looks ridiculous, right? That is pretty bad. He can't get out this way. He, so he's going to have to move his f-pawn, which is going to leave his, his white squares pretty weak. And uh, also this is falling. So b3 is a strong move. Instead, he goes for queen a4, a little preparatory move. But uh, none says this is dubious. So, he should have just gone for it. F6. This attack at the head of white's pawn chain is the only way to revive the h8 knight. That's what I said in that other position. F4. Queen d7, dupe, or question mark. Full question mark here. Knight f7. Following the principle of improving the position of the worst place piece offers better defensive chances. No variation there. Just he should have done, did that. Instead, he goes for this. Maybe he's got some uh, some tactical ideas. But no, I mean, he's defended, so you'd have to help him out there. Mm -hmm. B3, X-Clam. Just like he should have done earlier. Yeah. Why F6, not F5? Because he wants to attack the center. You don't want to let your opponent have, like, just the center for free. So, Yeah. And anyways, f5 would block your bishop, which which would severely limit your your activity. I mean, that bishop would be pretty much dead in that case. And here it's actually really good. You know, it's, it's actually really good here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> but never play f6. That is also true. <laughs> that is also true. Okay, why is attacking the head of black's pawn chain so effective here? Firstly, it brings the knight to b3 in striking range of the tempting c5 square. And secondly, it opens up the possibility of c4, exposing black's weakness along the a2, g8 diagonal, you know, since f, f6 was played. Created by the thematic advance f6, he says. So he takes it, because the pawn was hanging on c4 anyway. And then he gets this going too. Black has to take this, or else white jumps into c5, but it leaves the light squares very weak. How many times are you going to play knight b8 in one game, right? c4, x-clam. 
trades him. Trying to hold it together. But yeah, it's obviously great for white, right? He's got two bishops. He's got all this space. He's even got a little initiative going. Pretty nice stuff. C takes D. Okay, but it gets a little, gets a little complicated here, huh? Rook C3. Mm -hmm. Just knight C1. Simple play there. Doesn't go for anything crazy, you know. E6. Nice. Look at that. Come on, get these out of here. <laughs> there we go. That knight will never yes. get out. <laughs> he even says, he says cruelly immobilizing <laughs> the H8 knight. <laughs> yeah, that's still pretty bad. Yeah. That's still really bad. But now knight can get out with a G push, maybe. I mean, I'll just, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, maybe we won't let it happen, right? Give me that. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just too much control of the position at this point. <laughs> E6 is really mean. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's the type of move you don't want to see, you know. <laughs> That's the type of move that just makes you chuckle, though. If you're the one doing it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and resigns. Hmm. So the point is that he's going to take the bishop and go here, I guess. I mean, if, if you trade here, he could even just take it the knight, but... Probably could push, but if I take and go there, I guess I could win the knight, but I could always do that. You know? Well, anyways, it's totally winning, so. Check, take the bishop on e7. What? Black should have played knight b8 a fourth time. Yeah, that would have helped. If only he could get this knight to b8, where it really belongs. <laughs> but yeah, this is the problem with having less space. A lot of times you just get crushed this way. And white's pawn chain was pretty impressive, especially when he got like f4 going, mm. you know? So I was wondering like there at the end, maybe. Yeah. Sure. Like if you um, like checked. Well, it's black's turn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But like last turn, you could check, I guess. And then he'd go here. No, my plan involves d5. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, yeah, Owen, Owen's got it. For example, let's say here. Hey, Owen, how's it going? You check and then take to stop king f7. Right. And then mm -hmm. here. And then it's a queen. You can't even give up the rook for it. Yeah, that's the, that's the the reason he resigned right now. It's because of that idea. And if you take, we can still actually check and go here. But anyways, even knight takes right. We don't have to do anything fancy. Knight takes protects our pawns. We can just go like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't like to do fancy stuff, you know. Well, actually, <laughs> I do, but <laughs> but anyways. All right. Well, cool. Yeah, let's look at the next one, huh? Yeah, definitely. Oh, good. Gelfa Nakamura. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, I feel like this is one that that we looked at on I the was stream. Wondering, I was wondering about that too. Yeah, this could be it. If this is it, please yeah, it tell me. Seems like me maybe so. when we were doing the openings. All right, and we were looking at the King's Indian. Yeah. We looked at a couple of mine and then a couple of Nakamura's. I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember the game, but I remember. I remember it vaguely. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait for karaoke. I'm definitely going to karaoke. Sing yeah, it seems up. You have to wear a short sleeve shirt to up. show off your tattoo. Totally, totally, totally. And I'll, I can wear my Zeppelin shirt. The Anna tattoo. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Don't yes. see anything different about me. <laughs> 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 totally hey, casual. I heard a noise. Thank you, Pinky Jim, for the, all those centuries, hundreds. I can't even count that high. One, two, Bye. three, four, five hundred. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's black to play. 
I love it when you guys give, and I don't, you know, even if it's like one cent to do makes me smile. So I love it. <laughs> Go fan against Nakamura. Yeah. Nakamura, definitely a favorite on our stream. We're mm -hmm. always singing his praises. We are. Yes. But banned. <laughs> <laughs> Banned. And, and yet banned. <laughs> <laughs> banned for life on that channel. Yes. See that's free Karen. That's that, what that, happens when free you free Karen movement. You do a nice thing, you know? That's what happens. Yeah. I, what, nice have I, person, what have I done banned. in life other than to say that I, I'm a fan of uh, GM <laughs> Kangaroo <laughs> Band GM <Karen>. Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he probably doesn't know, who, you know, who I am exactly. But you know, if he does know who I am, shame on you. Yes, yes, Mr. Nakamura. Shame, shame. Come shame, on shame. now. Get shamed. Buddy. I have a little niche market here. Mm -hmm. The over mm -hmm. fifty female chess people. Now, how many are there? Mm -hmm. Not many. Mm -hmm. Now, come on. You tell them. Unbanned. You tell them. I demand it. Come on. Yes, you should supporting your demographic. Right. You should be supporting. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Galfan Nakamura from the World Team Championship 2010. This example is more in keeping with traditional theories, but even here there is a surprise. C Black's 16th move. White's pawn chain extends from G2 to D5. That. Oh. Okay. That's a very nice. Yeah. Connect four has been says, Oh, you mm -hmm. just turned 50 in the 50s club. Uh, blacks consists of that, right? Nice. Three. White is already exerting pressure on d6, which is close to the base of black's chain, while black is pressuring e4. However, black's pressure is not effective, as the e4 pawn is securely defended. So we saw this in the last example, too, when black advanced with c4, mm -hmm. because the d4 pawn was too securely defended. It, there's no way to put pressure on it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember that. That seems pretty common. Uh, black, therefore, adopts a typical strategy, which is to transfer the target of attack nearer to the base of the chain. F4. See, now he's going to do that. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. The plan is g5, h5, g4. Both to press on f3 and to create threats against white's king. That's usually why people play the king's Indian with black. They want to get this and attack the king. Quick, like a, yeah, quick like quick Fisher. Okay. You know, this is classic. Fisher would have games like this all the time. Mm -hmm. So that was one of Fisher's favorite openings? Yeah, yeah he loved king's Indian defense. Mm. Yeah, He always played it, pretty much. I mean, mm -hmm. over ninety-five percent of his games, he had some Queen's Gambit decline and, and some other stuff, but mm -hmm. but he and Grunfeld too, and even uh, Benoni, of course. But uh, yeah, most of the time it was King's Indian. And anyways, Benoni and and uh, and Grunfeld are sort of similar to King's Indian, in some ways, at least. It's an offensive setup for Black. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a, because it's positionally suspicious for Black. Actually, you've got a lot less space. And he's just crushing you on the queen side. That's funny. It's just a bit of a misnomer. King's Indian defense. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, anything. Uh, even Benoni is pretty aggressive, and yeah, it's a yeah. Benoni defense, yeah, yeah. I guess. But there's also King's Indian attack, but that's when white does it, you know. So, mm. so that's how it is. But, yeah, so it's positionally suspicious for black in, in a lot of ways. But you can mate the king, then it doesn't matter how badly you lose on the queen side. You you wish there were more drugs in the chess world, <laughs> like the Queen's Gambit series. Well, I mean, I don't know if people that do those kind of drugs, but definitely there are lots of marijuana smokers in the chess world. That is potentially true. <laughs> All right, he goes B5. For A5, see Belyovsky Nakamura, which we looked at earlier in, in the book. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Because he actually uh, mentions this game in, in, at that point. Okay. Yeah, full circle. So here Nakamura plays. This is the surprise 16th move here. D takes C. Interesting. 
an innovative strategy. The traditional move has been bishop f8, when white strikes with b6, mm -hmm. breaking the base of the chain. Um, the move played shows another method of handling such positions. Black concedes the battle for d6 and allows his pawn chain to be broken up. This may seem like a major concession, but it gains time, which black can use to further his kingside counterplay. Yeah, this is a huge concession because now this pawn is right. is backwards, right? It's yeah. a backward pawn. But um. he's gaining time in this way. Mm -hmm. That is the benefit, you know. Getting high and playing with your ceiling is the life. Ben was talking about a guy who played a tournament on acid. Now, I never heard that, and I'm going to try to fix this screen real quick. Owen's right. I do like the Benoni. Yeah, you do yeah. like the Benoni. But, but I've also played a lot of Grunfeld. That would probably be my second choice. Let me try to fix this. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Big money. Uh, Stream. I think, <laughs> I think it's coming back. Yeah. Well, I could. Oh. Oh, R.I.P. All right. Well, hang on a second. Okay. Sorry. Well, you can keep talking. I've got to figure out. I think that this is dead for some reason. Yeah. All right. You want me to keep going through the book? Yeah, just keep going. All I right. I'm listening. So here, after D takes C5, he took it back. I always play the worst Benoni. That's sad. I try to play the best Benoni. That makes no sense that this bad. White presses ahead with other queenside pawns to open some lines. It's a pretty easy strategy here, you know. White attacks on the queen side, black attacks on the king side. I mean, I don't know what's going on. You may have to hang on a second. All right. Well, because now I'm I thought it was going to be quick, but if we don't have a way to read the chat. All right, we have to read little chat. <laughs> well, I mean, this has power now, so it's it's somehow lost its power for a minute. It says it's at 1%. What, this one's at one point? Yeah, yeah. It's, I think what it is. But happened, it is plugged in. Yeah, I think it had come loose. Hang on, guys. Foot sorry. <laughs> yeah, the Benoni is pretty tough, though. Uh, uh, plain true. Right, let me see. Mm -hmm. Little equipment problem. Chromod system? What is that? I never heard of that. Hmm. Chromodka system. Hmm. Okay, now we're back. All right. Um, where are you seeing what we're Scottish demon goat. Oh, I see that. He might just be everything he says could be a joke. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, sorry about that, guys. One of our no the technical the monitor that we use for chat. Okay, keep going. Sorry. All right, so he played b6 breaking. I'm about to break, and then here comes this break too. Yeah. Black once again bypasses the current point of attack on f3 just walks right past it and turns his attention to g2 the base of white's pawn chain this square will be attacked by pieces rather than pawns for example some combination of knight h4 rook g7 and bishop h3 uh, king h1 unnecessary safety first measure to allow the defensive bishop g1 after h3 question mark obvious sacrifice very obvious stuff for a king's indian player just good for black or if instead of uh h3 knight b5 knight d7 wow knight d7 okay see now you can't play bishop g1 which is pretty funny yeah but i wouldn't expect that so but okay i mm -hmm. can see that Look at this, and then, and then just takes this. Queen h4. So the point of taking this is so that if you ever play h3, I could just snap it. Just get my stupid knight out of the way of my bishop. <laughs> you know, get out of here. And then so I, it, now you're just getting crushed. Black has a very dangerous attack in both of these lines. It says none. Yeah. So he goes king h1. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. D4, knight, f6, c4, c5, d5, d6. Well, yeah, yeah, he plays e5 instead of d6, though, Owen. Mm -hmm. Yay, thank you, Wizalawu, for the sub. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I don't. I'm not much of a King's Indian player, although I have played some, but not with the best results. Look at this over oh, here. Oh yeah, we're frozen. <laughs> we're frozen, like Elsa. I mean, why are we having something? But the chat was actually working. Yeah, the chat was. Uh, there we are. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We we probably got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We more than likely got it. All right. So King H1, good move. Bishop F8, always do that. And D6, the best move. Good move by Gelfan. Uh, bishop takes f8, double question mark, loses at once. To knight takes e4, exclam. Th th that's the idea, don't forget about that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also even this is hanging. I like how I just ignore this and start popping off. Uh, what else does he look at? Bishop g1, question mark, just one question mark. Knight h4. Knight g2. This gave black a decisive attack in some other game. Charbonneau had black against some guy. Russell Roosman. <laughs> what kind of name is that? I'm not trying to insult him, but come on. <laughs> Two, from 2008. Oh, yeah, there shouldn't have been any problems with this stream. Yeah, good. I'm glad there weren't. Yeah, we were just having problems viewing the chat because the monitor and, and laptop were rebooting on us. <laughs> A takes B6, and then Bishop G1. If A takes B6, question mark, it would have been Rook A1. And this, this is bad, dude, and Knight G4, X clam. Still, same idea all the time. Same, and we were looking at these ideas when we looked at this game mm -hmm. months ago, I remember. Yeah. You and, you and I were analyzing some variation, and you came up with some good moves. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even defend it. It's vague. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> like, I, we just turned on the engine, and then I was like, this is the only move to, yeah. to win. or. To, I remember or I came out, I think I came out with the queen move, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Love the pink and black hair dilemma. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, what else? Yeah, oh, actually, knight g4 variation continues. Takes here... Bishop G1, HG, with a tremendous attack. This is going to be the next move. That's going to be the next move for sure. Yeah. No, that, that, this can't be acceptable. How could that be acceptable? At one, well, and Demon Goat says Knight G4 is so cool, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does. Knight h4 dubious. This ambitious move may not be justified. Gh is about equal. But he doesn't analyze it. Rook e1 dubious. Hg x clam. Not really the move you want to play with white, you know, generally, at least. But it gives him bishop e3. I remember we looked at this variation too. Mm -hmm. This gives black some problems. Since bishop h3, rook g1 takes... Here, she's got counterplay on the queen side, don't forget. Always do that. Queen h3, this still looks pretty scary. Yeah. You know? But okay. after here, uh, he doesn't have, he doesn't have it going on, right? He doesn't have it going on. He says white's doing well here. For example, let's say you take this and give me a check. That didn't help. Now you got nothing. You got nothing cooking. Yeah. I could still try though. Let me keep keep keep, keep it going. This is what I'm looking at here. Here, this. This might all be nonsense, by the way. <laughs> just letting you know. Yeah, just like this. Trying it out. <laughs> no, no. Then this is hanging, all right? Yeah. And then that's hanging. Wait, so I am causing some problems with knight g4. I mean, knight g4 actually doesn't threaten anything, does it? Because takes takes is okay. So so I can just ignore that, yeah. But it, it was still pretty funny. I mean, you can just do anything with white here. There's no threat. But it's still tough, you know? It's still tough. It's still tricky stuff. Like, you could calculate that whole variation and still not be sure. 
Mm -hmm. And calculating that whole variation from here is not particularly easy, even for super GMs. Yeah, it's a little scary, I yeah. think. <laughs> yeah, just bishop g1 or anything, right? Focus attack is tremendous, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Trump's middle name's John, right? Is, is, it, is that right? Donald, Donald John Trump? I don't know. It's not, I think it is. So maybe hey, look, he is. Maybe at, he did write it. How's the focus? Looks like we're not in focus. You don't think so? Mm mm. Let me see the thing. It's a J. <laughs> oh, Donald J. Trump. Yeah. Well, well, it's not J A Y. Like it's it's that's his initial. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, it's John. See, road trip. Uh, I'll just believe road trip because he he agreed. So yeah, maybe it is Donald John Nunn. Trump wrote the book. Lots of people have been saying great things about it. Hey, that wasn't Big Spencer that time. Right, right. That's too bad. I really like that. It's Big Spencer. <laughs> and then we can also, let me just... Change that autofocus, right? Oh, yeah. Why does it come back on? Yeah, I think this is the the game where he, he sacks his queen every move. Look, it's still yeah. not... Oh, that's all, though. That's the focus. Yeah, get that out of here. It doesn't look like we're in focus. That's true. That's true. I think I made it worse. Uh, sorry. It's all right. We can figure it Equipment out. Equipment issues. I want, let me turn it back on for a moment. Okay. Because we want to actually get it. Now it looks focused. Focused. Now it looks pretty focused. Maybe we should just leave it on. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. So I think we can take it off because now it's got the focus that's set. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because it wasn't set before. We'll just okay. say perfect. That was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll never lose focus. Okay, wait. We got it. We can do this. Two adults can definitely figure this See, out. See, it went back to 10. That's the normal yeah, number. Yeah, 10 is 60 the number. was no good. 60 was nuts. Why did he even say do I don't that? even know. But did, Okay, so at least we understood. We could manually oh, do it. This is OBS's fault. In the future. For the, okay, for the that record. looks good. You know. Okay, back to chess. <laughs> you don't become a billionaire by accident. That's true, but you do become a billionaire when your, you know, parent gives you a billion dollars. <laughs> don't you think? You want to see the pink clearly? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It is more clear. Yeah, oh, I, oh, this, side's, this side's a little more pink. There was a really, I have to read a funny quote. I, I feel bad to interrupt the chess again. Okay, that's but we're, okay. we're talking about Donald Trump Jr., right? Okay. Or John, or the senior. I thought it was the president. Oh, the president. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about the junior. They have the same name, so it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Well, they're both douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> Douche That's true. <laughs> so you can't say this stuff when we got Brad on here, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about when we have guests on. Yes. Many of my friends might be, um, me and my uh, proposed guests might actually be quite conservative. We don't want to run yeah. them off just because we're right. not. <laughs> but, um, well, darn, okay, we'll keep going. I had a funny Twitter thing, but it's too hard to pull it up. It was, um, it was a comment on Donald Trump Jr.'s Twitter tweet today. But anyway, go ahead. All right. Maybe at the end we have time for it. So HG would have been good for white, but it's very complicated. He played rookie one, boom shakalaka, and then DC question mark. Now this is a big blunder. White can still draw by taking this, rook g7, then DC, discovered check, queen, mm. although I would make a rook or something, you know, of course, and then take that here. This it's so easy. This variation too, you know. Just I keep, mean, this is crazy though. Just, what? Just oh, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah. Like what? <laughs> I mean, the moves make sense, but to calculate I know, but all that still, accurate, all that's crazy. absurd. Come on. <laughs> he says this, has, this is an equal ending. <laughs> okay, but he played DC. Oh, you saw the tweet? You know, see, it was funny. I wish if I had it handy, I'd put it. 
It was hilarious. I retweeted it. Oh, no. You might be <laughs> right. G1 equal, equals Roark allows that. No, no. Then it's mate. So. Oh, wait. What happened? To if I'm taken, I make a rook. Mm -hmm. It gives him the extra legal move of king h2. Oh. But then I have mate in one with rook 7, g2 mate. Luckily. And so uh, that's actually better then. Because then I give him the option to hang mate in one. You know, so that makes takes equals rook actually the most optimal move. Definitely. God, I don't even have any. Doesn't matter at all, of course. Right. It's going to take back, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> but okay, anyways, D takes C. It's question mark is what he did. Then it was this hang the queen because of mate. Check, hanging the queen again because it's check, so not really. X clam. Here comes another check. Hang the queen again because now it's mate and one. But then this was the best move, right? Queen d3. Mm. Deflection. Hanging the queen again. Hangs the queen every move. Pretty much every move. <laughs> Knight takes e5. Here, threatening mate again. And then give me this. I'll take that too. He uh, promoted there. But he is down a piece. And after here, resigns. Solid stuff. This is a good move, I remember too, because it stopped the check. Right? It comes with the tempo. Oh, and yeah, it stops I remember that. I do rem I remember that because we yeah. talked about that last time. Mm -hmm. I remember it the now. The best technique. I'm yeah. going to go dig up this dream and, you know. Mm -hmm. Relive the memories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, normally I would have asked a lot of questions about the queen sacrifices, but we've already seen the game, actually. So mm -hmm. so we can just go through it. Like, yeah, that was a does. cool That was a cool game. Yeah, a lot of Kings Indian games are like that, with they, both sides have a lot of the, the long pawn chains, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they just attack on each side of the board. And, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a slobber knocker. <laughs> That's a hallmark it's, of the King's Indian game? Totally, like the main lines. Oh. Like the, the classical main lines where white plays uh, c4, d4, e4, knight c3 and such. Mm -hmm. And and black plays uh, with an e5 pawn break and, and knight c6, knight c6, d5, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely some uh, uh, pretty commonly seen strategy. Hmm. And it's a really sharp opening, you know. Fisher said that uh, that White's like attack is faster because he has more space, but Black's attack is against the king, and the king is always faster because his mate's more important than than winning on the queen side. Yeah. So that's an you know that's a point. Kid games are crazy when it's super GMs playing. Yeah, you know, at the twenty seven hundred plus level, White scores pretty well. In a king's Indian defense, mm -hmm. but uh, I think the the weaker the players are, the more, the more it favors black, because it's mm -hmm. so complicated and and mating the king is like you could just lose immediately, you could just lose instantly, you yeah, because you're mating the king. Mm -hmm. I wonder why we can't see um, some of the stats. Do you know what I mean? That yeah, I... yeah, totally. It's like it's like the page didn't load fully. That's what it looks like. Yeah, know? I'm gonna try to just load it one more time. Just so I can see yeah. how easily how many viewers and how long we've been going. Yeah. Well, you got okay, it. now you got we're it. good. I guess that is the Pac Champs going on today as well. I don't know. Right, Super GMs don't really play a Kings Indian defense. That's true. Even, uh, for example. Let me see. For example, uh, Nakamura and Rajabov used to play it a lot, but, but not so much anymore. It does say Pog Champs Watch Party. Watch Party, party but I don't see that chess is on anymore. So maybe it just ended. I'm not sure. Right. Pog Champs is done, though, says The Rock. Oh, it is? Okay. I'll believe him. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't even know who played. I haven't really followed it this time around. Well, I think that um, we can keep going with the lesson. All right. Yeah, this <laughs> next one's pretty closely related to Pawn Chains. It's mm -hmm. pawn chains and space advantages. All right. Okay. I mean, all right. Seems like he's sort of doubling up on pawn chains, <laughs> in my opinion. Mm -hmm. 
But we'll see. We'll see what the dealio is. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I haven't followed it a whole lot. I will say that one player who shall not ever be named by me, <laughs> you know, had um, three of their games in a row were in the 90 percentile. And that was unusual, but I have not heard anybody crying foul. So I guess it must be fine. I haven't looked at the games myself I just noted that that statistic and thought it was unusual that's all I'm saying <laughs> but hopefully there was nothing suspicious going on there but I was really disappointed you know I think XQC um, beat Pokey I thought she would do better Dang. I thought Negranu would do better it's like come on you're embarrassing right. yourself guy come on Right, I mean, he's like, a, you know, he, he plays like a, a game that's closer to chess than these yeah, video Yeah, that's what gamers, I'm saying, you know? and he's like really talented poker totally. player. I was really surprised that he was so weak. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> harsh. XQC versus Pokey. I didn't get to see the whole thing. I just watched a tiny bit. I think we were streaming, but it seems like I saw a little bit of it. Clips later. Uh, oh, he used his rooks like they were pawns. Uh, oh, you're talking about Rubius, maybe? Hmm. Nico beat Rubius. <laughs> um, oh, oh, Negron, you did. Well, I didn't see. I'm going to go back and look at the games now. I only heard... Heard tell of how badly he did, but um, anyway, so let's keep going. Sorry about that. All right, what do you what opening do you think this was? What do you think? Um, let's see. Mm. Darn, I have no idea. So they traded. Um, the H file. I'm not good with telling, telling it. Well, it's an opening Any that French? you. Yeah, I was gonna no. say it's an opening you play. It's, like an it's the French. French. Totally. But uh, yeah. Totally, yeah. It's a French. Certainly. But that doesn't usually happen. Like, yeah, Carol like Khan uh, would be a better answer if the bishop was outside the mm -hmm. pawn chain. Uh, I guess it could be like a Carol Khan where he played e6 for some reason oh, okay. with, before the bishop. But no, it's almost 100% of French. French, yeah. Yeah. And his bishop's, you know, a little trapped in there, too. This one? His, no. Oh, oh. The black, light squared bishop. Right, right, right. Like yeah. mine, everybody's totally, always totally, telling totally. me that mine... Yeah, right. that's a, a huge staple of the French. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but look how Rezensev, he's pretty good. He got a lot of queen side space to make up for it. Mm, that's true. He's pretty solidly established on the queen side. This is Alexeyev against Rezensev, the Russian Championship, 2008, black to play. Black has done his best to undermine white's b2 to e5 pawn chain. Uh, but this has given him only limited counterplay because some of his pieces, especially the c8 bishop and the f8 rook, are not helping his queenside play. On the other hand, white's pieces are all well placed to support the advance f5, which could lead to an attack on the king. White's pawn chain gives him more space in the center, and this confers an advantage so long as there are still many pieces on the board. Knight a5. Queen d1 to stop knight b3. So he takes and plays knight b3, but knight b3 is a question mark. Yeah. Um, this loses time. g6 question mark is no better. Uh, after g4, white still forces through f5 in any case. So rook b2, x-clam is the move. Get that rook in there. Rook b1, rook a2. f5. Knight goes back. Is a better chance 
Since Black's active, Rook interferes with White's attempts to create kingside threats. Hmm, that could be true. I mean, I well, I would want to play this move if I had White. That's the move I'd want to play, but it, it does hang upon. Maybe I could... Uh, but then he could even consider to take this. It seems like Black has pretty good counterplay. Because even uh, he's got pressure here, he could even take this, and this isn't so easy to play. And the Rook is just really good in general here. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's still it's like some kind of passive pieces. Still some kind of passive pieces there. Yeah. So I guess I'd still like White. But he goes for a knight b3 question mark. That was the point of his play. He played knight a5 and took, so he could play that. He gets kicked back, though. And f5 anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Chain, chain, chain. Chain of pawns. Classic song. <laughs> yeah. So he so Black just lost some time, and, and f5 did drop. And now he doesn't have a lot of counterplay. So that wasn't the best play by Rysensev. Um, he tries to trade queens, but no trade, right? He's going to go for the kingside play. He wants those queens on the board. Queen a2, x-clan. Putting a little pressure here. And along this diagonal, too. You can even maybe see c4 coming up. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Maybe not. So he does go for the exchange, though. White space advantage persists, even without the queens. And black's lack of maneuvering room makes it hard for him to improve coordination of his pieces. G4 dubious. Too cautious. Instead, white should take the chance to exchange black's good bishop with bishop h4 x-clan. With a large advantage. Bishop d8. Good move. This allows black to avoid the exchange of dark squared bishops. Knight c4 question mark. Giving up a pawn to activate his pieces, but this panic reaction isn't necessary as black has drawing chances, chances after the modest knight b6, knight d2, knight c6. That is pretty modest play. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> a good way to describe it. Anyways, I guess Rosensev didn't want to play so timidly, and he goes for a pawn sacrifice question mark. Trying to get this going and, and the d5 square. Bishop a2, x clam. Yay, thank you, Bishop Takes, for this 200 cents it is. Playing for the initiative is correct. White is prepared to offer material to set his central pawns in motion. Bishop d3, h5, ef, knight d5. Like this permits black more defensive chances. His knight's really good, and his pieces are active here. But he's still down a pawn. So, you know, you'd, you'd rather have white, of course. Up a pawn and stuff. But it's double isolated pawn, so mm -hmm. not, not the best pawn in the world to be ahead. Unless you trade it somehow, I guess. Yay. Thank you, Squirrel Guts, for those centidus. A bunch. I'm not going to count them, but we'll say a bunch. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bishop A2. So he goes EF. Now losing his pawn, right? Yeah. But he just is sacrificing to play d5. White's pawn chain is gone, but in its place there are a pair of advanced central pawns, supported by active pieces. While the legacy of white's space advantage is the poor positioning of black's pieces on the back rank. I like how he put that. That's the legacy of his space advantage. <laughs> <laughs> is that all your pieces are on the back rank. Knight a4. Uh, Fg knight d4. With the deadly threat of e6, is hopeless for black. It takes knight takes. Yeah, the support from the pieces is really making these pawns quite powerful. You even got this going on too, you know. So, yeah, he goes for knight a4. <laughs> Rook c1 gets out of the way of that. No, I think it's good support. <laughs> I know Ben always likes to say that. Oh, mediocre support? Is that what he says? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Bishop b7. 
Uh, he also analyzes this move. Or did you have a thing you were going to say? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't need any support anyway. Oh. But it's nice to get it. It's a nice to have. <laughs> yeah. It makes us feel appreciated. Yeah. But we know we have the best stream, so, mm -hmm. you know. We don't have to... to I just uh, love accolades. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? You love accolades? I love them. This is winning for white. <laughs> One thing is you can't take here to overextend the rook because there's a back crank made. Oh, yeah. At the end. That's pretty cool. So 94 would still lose, but not that that variation was necessarily forced, although it was a lot of forcing moves. He goes for bishop b7 and takes. Now, there's a little, like, fork trick here if you try to get the d-pawn back. So white is a pawn up with a good position. He doesn't win in the most efficient way, but reels in the full point in the end. Wait, what was the fork? There, if you take here. Uh, wait, what am I not seeing? Oh, okay. No, but the... Wait, whose turn? It's Black's turn. I'm saying if Black takes the pawn, there's the fork. Oh, with the bishop, you mean? Yeah, or if knight takes, I'll take your knight and then fork. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, after bishop takes. So either way, I'll get the fork in either variation. So he goes here. None threw a little shade about white's technique, but we can still check it out, huh? <laughs> he doesn't give any more comments. So far, it seems pretty normal. Still, like, kind of normal technique to me. They're there loud next door today. Yeah. I don't really know what none was crying about. That seemed like just normal technique to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shady none, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do you think? Do you want to go on to the last example in this section, um. or...? See what time is it? I Five, think so. Thirty-eight. Um, because um, well, how long do you think it'll take? Hmm, I don't know. Ben was maybe Ben's like gonna fifteen get here. minutes or so. Maybe not. Maybe then. even yeah, but maybe a little less, ten to fifteen minutes. Because Ben is gonna pretty, get here. Like a pretty long one, actually. Let's let's wait then. All right, yeah, we'll just pick this up here next time. Okay. We'll pick this up here next time mm -hmm. in the middle of uh, in the middle of pawn pawn chains yeah. and space advantage or something. Yeah, pawn chains and space advantages. Okay. Well, Pat, um, no, Ben's not going to get on the stream, although he might just come say hey for a second. He's teaching a class tonight at the club, and so he's going to come up um, in about 20 minutes or so to prepare for the, the – the, it's an online virtual class. And Spencer and I – I'll probably sit in on the class this week. But we That's have to cool. – We help set up for the class. Yeah. You understand almost 80% of the minute game. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Me That's too. Good. Yeah, the Tall Fisher class. That's yeah, right. sign up for that class if you want to learn about those guys. Oh, wait. Oh. I said I was going to take. He was first, right? I, I don't remember. Whatever, just playing both. You know. Yeah, that's it's true. This one was end. first. Logic Engine. Hey, Logic. Always a tough opponent. Mm -hmm. Solid, solid player. Solid and ambitious, too. Oh, I hope you're still there, Logic. Oh, no. If not, we can... When he was young, life was so logical. <laughs> we might have had to leave. All right, That's if you're... too bad. Well, we'll wait for it to time out. There it is. Okay, if you come back, though, we can stick you... We'll put you back in the queue. Don't forget to X out of that game, though. Yeah, that's true. Otherwise, it'll, uh, it'll get your goat. And then... I can't remember who. I think uh, it was it was Frosty. Okay, I can't remember. Yeah, it was Frosty. <laughs> we'll we'll get to you, baboon. I'm sure Karen will get to you. Just uh, I think you're just a couple people down. It was the Rock and then and then baboon. All right, that's the last thing you want to do, Scottish Demon Goat. Look at this accurate move order you guys are playing. Love it. Very accurate move order. Interesting stuff. 
I've played this way myself with an early queen b6 against the London with this sort of setup. Um, I remember I beat an A player in, uh, in, in St. Louis. What was his name? It was Steven. His first name was Steven. I don't, I don't remember his last name. But yeah, he always played the London. He was still a pretty aggressive player, but... Okay, come on, it's three minutes. Okay, I was saying, yeah. I was about to start just... Right. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> I was do, do, do. I was about to da, just da, get da, going da. to a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My chess.com username is N-M-S-A-F. Hey, Squang. I love uh, Black's activity here. Look at how he's got all his pieces placed. That's how you do it. That's how you play actively. Mm -hmm. you now I'm always rooting for Karen, but he's really playing in my style. <laughs> I gotta say. Spencer's never online. Harsh. A harsh critique by the goat. Although it's true. But hey, I did I did jump on my phone and, and do some puzzle rush during my tattoo. So, you know, I'm sometimes on. <laughs> but it is pretty rare. I remember I saw, like, I can get, like, all these achievements. So I was getting some achievements on chess.com. And one of them was, like, to play 10 960 games. But I couldn't even do it. I couldn't even get to 10. After, like, 6, I'm like, this sucks. I don't like 960. Hmm. It's all right. It's not It's not so bad. But, you know, I, I like normal chess more. Oh, you didn't see it? Oh, yeah, yesterday I showed it off, Owen. I'll, I can uh, do it one more time, you know? There it is. I have it at such an angle where if my arm is laying flat or if it's if I'm raising my arm, you can still see the entire uh, the entire blade of the sword. Thanks, Dancing Tortoise. <laughs> yeah, it is scary. It'll intimidate my opponents if I play over the board, you know. They'll be like, oh no, this guy's gonna he's coming for me. Castles with mate was the hardest achievement for me. Oh I I don't I certainly haven't haven't achieved that. Has Pawn Grubber arrived yet? Hmm. Tough to understand. What does that mean? Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking and saying. Pretty solid game so far. But don't forget to keep that speed up. I did forget. <laughs> it's okay, he gave you a 26 second move, so... Your kid's kind of close on the, on the clock now. Alright, he was playing my dad last night on Twitch. Oh, 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 oh so he, I, I understand. Has he arrived, like, has, has he shown up for his, uh, after the adoption? I get it. All right, all right. So I didn't put that together in my head. <laughs> so he did win 10-0. That's good. I thought he probably would, but, you know, you can always lose, right? You just have to be careful. Yeah. Classic adoption match. Yeah. Frosty's a rude dude. With with Tude. Okay, go there and triple my pawns. Triple it up. <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be a chess.com achievement. Triple pawns. Doubled it up. Best blockader. Yes. Get in there. I don't want to get on this file. <laughs> I have 13 seconds left. Anyway. You got it. Can I link my castles with mate game? Well, we probably want to look at it. <laughs> but I guess you, you could if you have, you know, if you don't get, if Moobot doesn't get you. Moobot might get you, though. 
I have Baboon in my name, yes. Obviously, frankly. Good game. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, what is going on? There? I don't know. One second. I think this is coming through the Mac. It was. Oh. Yeah, that's why it was so loud. Oh, it's my son trying to FaceTime me. Oh yeah, that's why the Mac got it, right? Is that is that how it works? Is that? How it works? Yeah, he says I have to call him right now. Okay. Well, I can, uh, you know, keep the the people entertained if you if it's uh, if it's some serious situation. Here's the situation. Let me see what he said. He doesn't usually. All right. Quick look at my game while she's on the phone. I still can't yeah. do it for technical reasons, Scottish Demon Goat. Okay, here I come. Let me just see what okay. he says. He says that's fine. All right, he said. He said, okay, so nobody's. Dead. All right, well, let's look at the game then. <laughs> this was a really good game, I thought. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that game. GG Frosty, sorry. I let the phone ring. But you guys are definitely slow. Definitely slow. Yeah, Frosty's slow. Even Frosty was slow. <laughs> I know this I'm was slow. like a great move order, though. Look at this move order you did. Perfect. And then after here, H3. I remember That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, let me do this. That's right what here. I'm talking about. <laughs> C5, C3. That's the way to do it. Mm. This is like how a super grandmaster would play. This move order is perfect. I can't poke any holes in it. Queen B6, Queen B3. This is right. This is still theory. Okay, here, I guess you gotta take it, right? That's like kind of the only logical move. Yeah. I mean, a queen, uh, a queen C2, you could have just done that at once, right? So it, And it's not really a great square because he can open up the C file and target your queen anyway. So you'll probably have to move it again. Mm, yeah, that's true. So yeah, you gotta take Go ahead it. And take, all right. Although you could consider knight C4 or even bishop C4. Um, but yeah, I, I would make I would make a stand with the queen. Like you could even trade and poke, the old trade and poke. Although you might lose your a pawn, but maybe not, because b three could trap it. I mean, you could always just take and play a three. That's not a problem. But okay. yeah, I think you should definitely trade queens here. Yeah, queen c two pays homage to Ben's old shirt. That's mm. true. <laughs> that is true. So he did take. That's smart. Knight d5. That's kind of a typical idea in this opening. You take it so that you don't have an e-pawn, right? Mm -hmm. Then the knight's going to go to f4 with knight d5, bishop h6 once you move your bishop. Although he actually didn't play bishop h6, he played bishop f5. He's got a lot of ideas. His pieces are crawling all around, you know? Mm -hmm. His pieces are crawling all around. This is how I like to play with black as well. And he's even got this pawn break, too. So he's getting pretty good here. You gotta like, uh, you gotta like black. Whoa. Is it a trick? Oh, I didn't see it. Because here I can go there. This, I don't care too much about that. No, I guess he hung it, right? Mm -hmm. I guess he hung it. Knight hanging? That's what I'm asking. That's what <laughs> I, I didn't notice this. I was. I guess I was talking too much about... Yeah, I didn't see it either. My tattoos or whatever. Obviously. Man, the, my Dang. email's blowing up. Yeah, so that must I be all the the registrations that yeah I think. so i would say that um before we even do any setup let go ahead totally and totally, the, yeah, the totally, email. totally totally uh, totally oh you thought you might have comp might have yeah comp. yeah oh, okay so you well hung, maybe did you hang it on purpose then because no no if he hung oh, it oh if you did accident. i see yeah yeah oh, okay well, yeah well the way you said it though was i thought oh you mean right. after yeah after the fact right oh, okay yeah. Okay, but you castled. Then he he ran away, with his tail between his legs. But yeah. Anyways, the point of knight d five usually in the structure is to play this. So maybe instead of bishop f five, bishop h six is is more logical, because that's a good square for the knight. Especially with h three, it's harder to play g three later. You don't want to play h three and g three. It's pretty anti positional. And plus, you can just keep this in your back pocket whenever you want to play that. You can. The queen's not even good here, right? The queen's a target, so you don't want to, like, she wants to move the queen anyway. Once you play rook c8, which is a normal improving move, she'll move the queen. So this doesn't really help you, I, I guess. 
Unless it wins, like, tactically. That's the only way to do it. That's the only reason to play bishop f5, is if it wins tactically. But it doesn't, so... At least not that I can see. Okay, and then the knight was hanging. Nobody took it. Then this happened. That was smart. I mean, positionally, black is still playing well. Threatening f7. That's good. Yeah, that's smart when they play e5, because then they can't play e6 anymore. Mm -hmm. That's the smart way to go. So he finally took it. Yeah. Okay, now it's complicated, huh? Because you got, you got squares. You got the square beyond compare. You went here. Come on. What? I would have never considered that. Well, I thought that I'm he going would... going up in here. Well, oh, okay. I didn't... Um... Perfect, perfectly cromulent move. <laughs> perfectly cromulent. Yeah, I guess I just didn't count it correctly. I thought that that was a problem gonna be a problem or that right. there could be some tactical su surprise where they move the knight and then I'm attacked I know, just I just I can see that timid but yeah I guess I should have gone there yeah I don't like knight on h2 you know I didn't like it there either I was just trying to reroute it I felt like yeah. if I went knight d2 then they were gonna immediately go e3 they could also kick you here because your knights are uh, yeah are, so I just felt know. yeah exactly yeah. no knight just, d2 might lose material yeah, I think this is probably the only reasonable move. Okay, yeah, I wish I'd done that. Yeah, I agree. I just didn't look calculate it properly. I thought I was worried about it. I could see that. You also have some tricks here, like this, mm -hmm. hitting the rook and the pawn, and the bishop and the other pawn, and this pawn. <laughs> it's everything. And if he takes here, you can take this. Who is after Frosty? Um, There's the rock and then suspenser. And then baboons went away. Oh, but, yeah, baboons but went he away. Was but last he was last after. Anyway. He was after this, too. Yeah. Darn, I hope we get to him. Um, right. After we've promised. Well, let's let's uh, go mm -hmm. through this more quickly, then. Okay. Because, well, basically, you know, he played a good game, but you, you mostly lost on time again, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because even this is up. But, yeah, this night... Oof. It wasn't as bad of a time as before, but yeah, it was right. still. I know. I'm trying to pay more attention. I was, but you caught me though. I was about just to go. Uh, I saw. <laughs> it's when you get your hand off the mouse. That's what it is. And, and I'm like thinking, pontificating. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there she goes pontificating. Uh, and I'm just like in some hole that's not going to take me anywhere. Yeah. That was ha about to happen. <laughs> Baboon, you got to send your challenge again, buddy. Oh, here's the old four minute, rated four minute. That's what you like to see. Let's see if the rock is... You smell what he's cooking. He's uh, almost at that... Oh, man, he's going to want to win this, huh? He'll probably... He'll probably be at quadruple digits if he wins this. This is a high-stakes game for him, you know? Well, he's been quadruple digits many times. Even still, he wants to see those four digits right Again, now. Again. Yeah. yeah, totally. He's totally. like me. He goes up and down. <laughs> yeah. Will Baboon play 1b4, the orangutan? I think he just, you know, he meant in the future, Baboon. Oh, it's Fork Town. I feel like you've had this exact game against the rock. Maybe. I really do feel that way. I hope to hear Karen say, thanks, Obama, after the game. <laughs> yeah. The rock is Biden his time. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> what is the benefit of playing four minutes? And then why not five minutes? Well, four minutes sort of a joke because he uh, he asked. Well, we usually say to challenge three minute or five minutes. So he just asked one time if uh, if you know he could challenge four minutes. People do that all that. the time. Yeah, right? I told you that. They do, time. yeah, but I've noticed it too. Yes, they just yes. do it all the time. It's crazy. Well, it just seems like a, a natural The move. Rock's done it too. In some you ways. Know. Oh, look at it. It's Starbucks delivery time. Yay. <laughs> stupider than white lines. I haven't met them. Then what? I mean, like at Starbucks, this mom kept letting her like two-year-old run to the street and getting her... And Crazy. Then, and then oh. here, the kid's like picking up our chair over his head. And I'm what? Like, oh, maybe you shouldn't do that. Yeah, our stuff's all getting used. Oh, yeah, that happens. Yeah. Uh, here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, white moms are pretty dumb than usual. 
We have the exception here. Yeah, Prez and company excluded. Luckily, Come we have on. the exception. Yeah. <laughs> that proves the rule. All right, the rule has been Yay. proved. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you know. I mean, parents in general look horrible. Baboon says hi. Hello. I did it, Baboon. So I was shaving and brushing my teeth. Yeah. And there was a roach like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't remember my arms. So mm -hmm. I took a shoe went like that and I grabbed the shoe and it threw it at me and knocked me unconscious. Wow. Wait, there was then, a roach? Yeah, and then when I went to my car to come here, my car wasn't there. Because the roach took it? Yeah, it was somewhere else. And he parked it somewhere else. He went for a joyride. You like how I knew it? Yeah. Though? And it was parked somewhere else. He said he just parked it where he wanted to. Wow. Yeah. Those are some bad roaches. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I make you cut, one cut you up so bad. One of the top yeah. five in my life, size-wise. Wow. But I still shaved and brushed my teeth. And the roach was like, good job. Right. Yeah, the dogs ran away crying. Yeah. Et cetera. Anyway, et cetera. Well, I'll try to catch him later. Did he disappear? Oh, well, he'll catch you. Yeah, I ran away. Is to watch the go go past the trail of tears. Da, da, da. What's I like these dark square controls. What's happening here? Where's Black's pieces? This is weak color complexes. What's going on here? Right here. Mm -hmm. This is opponent doesn't have any pieces. Well, his rating's not the highest. Come on. He has what? pieces. He does. They're just hard to find. What? Tell mm -hmm. so Ben you played F three earlier. <laughs> Is that true? They threw out that cheater yet? Oh, a snap. The one who played F3? No. Oh, oh. A different one. Da, da, da. Da, da. No, it was F6. Did she play F6? Da, da, da. I don't remember. But it is possible, especially for a, a French defense player. Don't forget to sign up for class. Did you guys sign up for class yet? I was telling them. We too. only had like two people sign up in the last hour. What? Her when, her email is going off. When you're done, I said in the last hour. Oh. Okay. When you're done with the stream, uh, Cole Holden wants you to call him. Well, she already knows that. Yeah, he he FaceTimed and it came mm -hmm. in through the Mac as it was. It was crazy. Did. And yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, he said, is mom busy? I said, what do you think? He said it has to right. do with the MIT application. That doesn't make any sense. So do you think he got in? Wouldn't maybe? he just be declined? He wouldn't tell me. If he got in, we better go to the casino more and win. If God, he, um, <laughs> but surely, like, if he got in, I don't think he'd want to tell me about it. I think he just would want to never talk about it. No, that's not true. Anyways, uh, no, I think that why would he call me to tell me that he got declined? I don't think he would. Oh, no, I, right, I think right, if right. he got in. No, if he got in, he would want me to tell me right away. Yeah, then we have to go to the casino a lot and win every time. That's right. That's our only hope. Okay, I need to stop talking. Yes. Like, way low on time. Yep. It's like a terrible situation. Here. I thought Spencer and I should go tomorrow, but he hates the casino. I wouldn't terrible. go to that. I wouldn't go to the COVID casino. But they, but they have a Ruth's Chris. Wow, I almost know what that is, actually. Yeah. I've Guess heard of it. It's pretty good. Yeah, we get everything but whatever you're supposed to get. If you name things you wouldn't get at Ruth's Chris, that's mm -hmm. what Karen and I get. <laughs> I have heard of Ruth's Chris. I don't know how, though. It's like Jim's Mario's. It's tough to say Ruth's. Is it like Ruth and then apostrophe S? Correct. Too it's tough. a very, very strange Too difficult name. to say. I yeah. totally agree with that. But it does remind me of the one of the greatest jokes ever when the guy brings his dog into the talent agency and says, my dog can talk. Do you remember that? No. So the guy, it's a cartoon, so you already like it. Yeah. The guy goes in and says, my dog can talk. And uh -huh. the talent agent goes, well, okay. And he says, who's the greatest baseball player who ever lived? And the dog barks. Mm -hmm. And he says, see, he said, Ruth. Right, right. What's my name? And the dog barks. He said, see, he said, Ralph. Mm -hmm. No, Ruth. And then he, sa he says, what's on top of a house? See, right, he said right, roof. Right. Then they, the talent guy throws them out, and the dog looks at the guy and says, should I have said DiMaggio? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. So Ruth's pretty Christian good. Darn, I'm so down what on What is time. this? The you pod champs here take C7? Just, um... Very pod champs-ish. Are you going to the casino again? Every move in Pog mm -hmm. Champs is the worst move in chess history. Yes. Like every move, yeah. 
That's Pog Champs for you. Mm -hmm. Love those pre moves. Mm -hmm. Always be pre moving. Gosh. Don't yeah, it don't matter. Not, not. <laughs> Now you're getting it. I don't have any clue as to... Now you know. Now you know what it is. Damn. Great pre-moving here. Love it. How do you do it so good? What? Uh. You got it. You got it. This is intense stuff. How did he play that so well? Now just made him with bishop and knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't legally win with a knight against a queen. It's terrible. All right. Frankly. Wow, how is he playing so well? This He's is crazy. <laughs> Good defense, though. Great defense. Okay, I might run out of time. Then. No, you got it. Just don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> Never give up hope. You there it is. It. There it, it is. Drew. Yeah, there he it is. He needed to make one more move and he didn't do it. Right, right. There it is. That was the world's record for most missed meet and ones by, by you. But, well, yeah. And maybe him. <laughs> and also him. Great play. That was a really good game. I can't believe how well he played at the end. Hey, well, I got. I shouldn't have talked so much. No, wait, what were we talking about? I got too involved in the conversation. What was it, though? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it was. What were we talking Ruth, about? Ruth, Chris. Oh, white, no. White, white moms are terrible. No, there was something mm -hmm. else we were talking yeah, about. I don't know. I don't care about nothing but chess. Yeah, but not even that. So this kid was like this <laughs> tall? Like uh, this? And then like, the mom's like drinking coffee. The kid's running into the street where the Starbucks is. And uh, she's like, oh, hmm. And then like, you know, they're like putting your body there. And then like still like ignoring the kid. Aww. Like the kid ran in front of me like seven times when I was in the drive-thru. So if I had gone, the kid, yeah. And then she's like, yeah, but my coffee's good. No. So here oh. I would play that because that's the best move. This is a really now good shopping go center here. to see really bad parents because all these things that are here. So if I go there and then just as a oh. reminder, and he were to go bishop d7, do I just go ahead and take or do oh, I? Oh, I would just wait? develop my pieces because it's going. the opening. If okay. he ever attacks me, then I would then, take. Then it. you take. Okay. Yeah. That's right. And there. And, mm -hmm. and it's like that. And this. That's so funny that I drew that game. <laughs> yeah. No, I was talking. That what was, was impressive at the end, though. You fought hard. I told you never give up at the end there. That was the way to do it. <laughs> now he takes, come on, the Rock Obama. You've done this exact mistake before. Dude. Yeah. you got to not he'll, do he'll that He'll do it one. again. But yeah. he got out of it because of check. No. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, no. Is this Karen's game? What or did is I this, do? Is this Fisher Tall? <laughs> What did I do? You did it right. He, oh. did, he right, didn't I'll get out of it because of chess. Right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But it, that, I felt like that was the Close. best. I no. mean, or not. Or maybe there's just not a good one. I guess no, you should just take the pawn. Oh, just take right. the pawn. He has to not get four on purpose. Yeah, but oh. that's that's pretty common. Yeah. This particular four. Totally, totally. Also, this is probably the worst because it helped you get developed, too. You know? Oh, yeah, that's true. And then he hung that. <laughs> you had lag on the internet? Alright, so, like, I mean, you gotta just, like, mate him. And so you're, like, going, you're going here? Come on, Spencer would not play that move. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's bad. Get clean in there. Oh, yeah, she I mean, he's got no pieces. He can't defend. I mean, obviously, you're still totally winning. This was great. That was good. He won more material. That was a good idea. Taking was actually X clam, by the way. Taking was just X clam. But yeah, mostly had to play faster. All right. Oh, and all this is where it's mate every move. This is always mate. Oh. <laughs> That's actually a common mating pattern, too. Oh darn! I just I don't know that one. That. Yeah, that's a common mating pattern. There's a famous Fisher game where he sacks he sacks his queen for all the guy's pieces. He takes them all. And then he has the, these three pieces and mates at the end like this mm -hmm. with the knight and rook, and it's protected by the bishop. So it was against one of the burns. Field of burn. Yeah, every move it's mate there. <clears throat> now here also, Terrible. this is mate. 
Okay. But you went here. I'm just so bad with those mating powers. I need to go back and I never did finish that. that dad book. I need to finish the How dad. to Beat Your Dad? Yeah, because that's yes. all the really good mating patterns in there. Then, yeah, I mean, you dilly dallied with your king a bit, right? Like, your bishop is faster to take and then the queen. Because mm -hmm. the king takes a long time, as you saw. And then this actually gave him some chances. He played great here, he did mm -hmm. everything he could. Even here. Moved the king with the check, then this? Jeez, how, how does he play so well? He just played great at the end here. That's very impressive stuff. Usually people rated 900 when they have no time, all their moves are just Panic. awful. But every move he played was best. It was like I was head black here, except I made with the queen. And then I got, I got lucky because <laughs> yeah. uh, of the time. At some point here he ditched the idea to mate you. He just wanted to win on time. I agree with that. That's how you would start. Yeah, so, That's how you so you don't stalemate me. You just make me. like random queen moves and sometimes move the king. And then like you move the queen in different patterns so they can't predict your pre-moves. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll never pre- you can never pre-move with the king then. You know, so it's just, it's over. You lose on time 100%. That's classic technique and like, that's bullet technique. Yeah, you were scared of stalemate, right, right, but that right. is a good technique. Right. Um, yeah. Good game. All you, right, so. Um, you got 79. Was that with the... Oh, 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 oh. The, yeah, trying to get to 100. Did Carla. Oh. Wait, wait, with what? Carla. Carla here. She tried to get 100 uh, on, on Puzzle Rush Survival. Oh, that's right. Survival I've never played... I haven't played that I um, I didn't a do... Whole I lot. never did Survival. I played it a couple of times. It was fun because Bonarici uh, encouraged me to do it. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's very good. Yay! <laughs> You'll have to tell Archer that he's that he thanked him mm -hmm. for being distracting. You know. So, um, hey, do you do you also stream, Carla? You're pretty high rated. Yeah, she just said that that's what she was streaming. She's on. Stream. Oh, you were doing it right. um, oh, she, while she you were claimed, streaming. Uh, she claimed never to to end until she got to a hundred. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was on this stream. Oh, she cool. Wussed out. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, well, we'll give you a little. Give you a little shout out then, if somebody did it already. But um, well, where are we with the time? I think we got a pretty much buggy. Yeah, I feel bad because I didn't play some people like that baboon. I wanted to play. That's yeah, sad. hey baboon, if I... you come back, you'll be next in line, except maybe the suspenser. But <laughs> and I can play you, and I yeah, I didn't get to play. I you know if you'll challenge me, you know, anytime you see me online, just challenge me, and I'm happy to play play you. When we're not on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's just come on. Well, <laughs> then. Well, we could maybe do one more, but then we're leaving out. I mean, anyways, you can play and I can do the stuff if you wanted. Like, I can uh, email people and such. That's true. But then we don't have anybody in here critiquing. <laughs> oh, there's I think, WFM Carla. Too. Oh, darn. I hate to miss playing Carla. I like her little flare. It's a uh, it's a unicorn. That's pretty cute. Yeah, Carla's gonna give me the biggest beat down of my life. Yeah, pretty high rated, huh? <laughs> Twenty two eleven. That's, that might be higher than my blitz rating. Too. Or I gotta play some people because now we got a title player on our stream besides, of course, Spencer and Grandmaster Feingold. <laughs> <laughs> Even more title players. <laughs> more title players. Well, okay, so let me play a little bit longer then. All, All right. right. So, well, what do you want me to do? You want me to chill or I can go in there and do the thing? Why don't you go do the emails mm -hmm. and then maybe come back? All right, I can do that. I could, could do like maybe that you could maybe still jump in. I'll just put two or three more games in there. All right, All right. I can do that. Yeah, the issue is that we right have um, a class. A Grandmaster Feingold's teaching a class and we help him get set up. And he just arrived. But I'm going to play a couple, and the question is, can Spencer come back in to go over our games? Well, since you're probably higher rated than Spencer, Carla, we don't need Spencer for our game. Because, <laughs> you know, you would probably tell us, you know, what's wrong with the game. But um, the Spencer, I know you don't, you, you like to play regardless, so that's what we'll do is get it going we'll play two or three more <laughs> yeah carla is you know 
pretty high rate. And she might be similar to Spencer. I'm not sure. There's some, you know, variation within the different titles. So I don't know, but similar. All right. Let me see. Let me go here. <laughs> Oh, is Fortuna on here? Hey, Fortuna, how's it going? I'm ending the stream soon. I'm playing a couple more. Spencer may or may not rejoin. We've got a class tonight at the chess club, and uh, we, we always help Ben get set up. And then sometimes I attend the class, and tonight I am going to at attend the class. Sometimes attending the class interferes with my karaoke schedule. <laughs> But tonight, I think I can do it all. Therefore, I shall be doing the class and then going to karaoke. <laughs> Gotta watch my time. Slow poke Karen. <laughs> It interferes with your sleeping schedule. That's true. I think on Tuesdays we're going to change it where we're going to try to do 3 to 5 slightly earlier because we're having a difficult time squeezing in a, a decent length stream because the chess club's open with a longer tournament and we're just too busy on Tuesdays. Anyway, yay, thank you for waiting around Carla. So I'm going to play Carla and then Baboon. If you're still here, I'll try to get to you too, and then I'll end. All right, now let me see here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ben's lecture at 1 a.m., yeah. <laughs> I sent out all the emails. Okay, awesome. We well, hadn't missed a whole lot. So how many people were there? No, I emailed four people. Four, and then there were some others that maybe were already. Oh yeah, yeah, we already had uh, a handful. Okay. You know, it's probably already close to ten, ten people maybe, eight to ten or so. No. Baboon is here. Yeah, I was asking, I was saying that, um, I wasn't sure if you were going to come back. Is Ben still prepping? Yeah, we, yeah. yeah, you should have time to stay in here because since you're not giving the lecture, mm -hmm. it's not quite as, um, as time, such a time crunch. Oh, according to uh, Carla, Logic has cheating accusations in POG. Can't explain his plans. I haven't been watching or... Honestly, I don't care too much about that. <laughs> oh, I do. You know. Thank you for coming but, with the gossip. I love I love it to hear it. Not that I love to hear <laughs> cheating. I love to right, be right, right. up on the current news. Well, I did not hear about that. However, I am going to say there was a different POG participant who had 90-something percentile in three of their games, which I was surprised by, but I have not heard any, you know, accusations of foul. So maybe that's mm. fine. I, so I am. I do follow it, and I hope that um, I hadn't heard that about logic. So hopefully that's not true. Where can I go? It's better than here. Rain wasn't uh, wasn't smurfing, right? That's what I want to do. 
Yeah, Rain is uh, pretty good from what I heard. He's like pretty okay. And he's a cool dude. Oh, Rain is 1300? I wasn't sure. I've heard varying reports of his strength. Oh, Fortuna's in here? I didn't see his. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> how's it going, Fortuna? Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hawaiian Superman. I think our Logic and Rain aren't playing up to his potential. Yeah, thank you, Han Superman. That is true, the Rock Obama. I agree with that, that if somebody has... All right, um, we were talking about that. Yeah. yeah. If so your opponent's really bad, then it's easier to play well. That's, <laughs> and, and let me also say, I have gotten in the 90s many times myself, and I'm obviously not real strong, but I don't, I haven't, I don't usually do it a few games in a row, but I have done it. One time I got a 98 and I lost. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You know, you can definitely. play great and blow it in one totally. move. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was still not so, you know, not so ashamed to play 92 or 98 and lose. You got 99.2. That's pretty good. You know, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty dang good. Sort of hard to argue with that. Mm, I mean, it's the world's most boring position. I know. <laughs> well, I can't come up with a good plan. This is why I lose on time a lot, because yeah. I start, I go into the cave. I was in there. I was about to go in there again. Let me see. What about this? What about that? Yeah. Right. It's crazy talk. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like nothing <laughs> happening at all. Well. Your move looks pretty good, though. I got to say. Yeah. Your move looks pretty decent. I would be uncomfortable seeing that. Did he get zero mistakes, zero blunders, Papa John's? <laughs> you only watched a one rain game? I'm only happy when it rains, so. Pawn break. Mm. Interesting position here. Karen and Spencer, I had family who lived in Georgia before. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That is cool. No wonder Georgia's on your mind. In a C file. Yeah, it is getting crazy over next door. If I played over the board, I could go for a WGM grind easily. I believe it, Carla. I mean, if you beat, uh, if you beat McShane. <laughs> I definitely believe that. McShane's a monster. Well, hopefully over the board tournaments will start back up. If I was way better, I'd be CM, maybe? That's true. Good game. Still pretty slow, I gotta I say. Know. I know. I kept slow. going into the cave. So yeah. I don't really know. What do I do about that? Because I just, I had no sense of the it's time like here at you, got, you spent 54 seconds on this No, I'm just enjoying move. the test. 20 just, seconds hmm, on all What's these a good moves. move? I want to make this Crazy. dude. I'm just thinking, yeah. you know. Just random legal moves is the way to go. I know, but I forgot about the time. I just forget. You want to analyze it or you want to play Carla? 
Uh, let's do a quick analysis. Since right. I, I think we're still good. We're good even till six thirty, and then we'll play Carla, and then we'll end. Yeah. I mean, definitely you should go here. The suspenser. GG the suspenser. This is better than that. And it's so slow. A five's not right. That's just a weakening move that doesn't help. Where do you live, Carla? He took your knight so he could push his b-pawn, I guess. But then he isn't rook was attacked, so he couldn't push it. That's funny. All the way back home. I'd probably go here, so I've looked. You know. In retrospect, yeah, I wish I'd had. Because I worried about that a little bit later. So you got two bishops, so I wouldn't trade them. You know, then okay. you don't have two bishops. Yeah, that was... So you could play like try to play with b4 like you did later in the game. You know, that's an interesting idea. Or like queen a4, target the queen side. You know, get in there on the queen side a bit. But yeah, you should work the two bishops a little bit. Yeah, my idea wasn't very good. I was trying to get my queen up in there, and I didn't feel like I could unless that got rid of the bishop. But then I didn't really have a clear plan, so that was no good anyway. So yeah. I left. <laughs> right, right. Went back over there. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably where you should be. I playing. know. Because your bishop is so good, he can't yeah, like, challenge you. Yeah, I just you. didn't have a clear plan, yeah. and that was why I traded off the bishop pair, which is bad. Um, the cave, I no, that's not a Fight Club reference. It's just me imagining. It's just I descend into this a deep thing where I'm basically not both sides play anything. too slowly, and then I get too slower than usual. Okay, last game against WFM Carla. Carla. WFM Carla. Pretty cool stuff. Yay! Oh yeah, the flag is Poland, so she wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. Or maybe if she was lying, she she covered her tracks. <laughs> Eastern Europe understands how cool the stream is. Her and Kangaroo. Yes, yes. They got it. The hidden gem on Twitch. Yeah, that's us. Real sucks. <laughs> yes, also but not true. really. <laughs> <laughs> what about baboon? Poor Baboon. Oh, I forgot about Baboon. He, we don't see your challenge, right? <laughs> yeah. That was true. It's not on the challenge list. A little trap. A little trappy. A little trappy thing. <laughs> A little trapster. One trap that I know. Oh, see, she knows her stuff, Carla. Very good. Mm -hmm. She knows her stuff. But you would have thought she did with that title. Yeah, yep. Baboon, I keep forgetting you. Oh, you broke a thousand just for Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, The Rock. Now, The Rock and I are like colleagues now because <clears throat> we're both quadruple digit players, you know. That's all there is to it. Darn. So if I go there, I think it should be fine. Maybe then I'll get trapped. I don't want to fall too far behind on, All right, okay. on old Carla. Okay, I'm just going to go back. How about that? What to do? That is one problem there. Here's a banana for the neglected baboon. See, that might be like sort of, you know, pandering to him, though. You think you can just placate him with bananas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what you think? Banana emojis? Hey. All right, now let's see. Karen's playing a titled player. WFM? Yes. WFM Carla. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess the title. Yeah. I thought you already knew. No. Yay, Carla. And I haven't called Carla's stream, but I'm going to. Yeah. What's her real name? Probably it's Carla. Yeah, but I mean her other name. It's Carla K. Carla K. It's probably is she's from Poland, and I'll have to look because I don't know. But I've been I broke nine ninety nine. Well, he meant nine ninety nine. You know, he just spelled it like ninety uh, nine ninety nine. Oh yeah, Ben never remembers anybody, Carla. You, know, <laughs> you can't you can't yeah, even you even. He doesn't what's, even know I'm in there. What's what's a Discord? Yeah. What? Hey, right. yeah, ben. What? Ben. He's like Discord or Datcord. 
How come, <laughs> has, how come Carla hasn't been banned already? Oh, we love Carla. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, it's your stream. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Scottish Demon. Go. You know, you know me, a wait, social justice whoa, warrior. Well, okay, I can't take. All right. Uh, kangaroos are All right. There we go. No kangaroo. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Karen going queenside. It's pretty rare to see Karen going to the queue. They're probably wanting the smartest with all this stuff over here. Whatever. Wonder, two bishops. Two bishops. Carla yeah. says no to crack cow. Oh, a Poland joke? Yeah. Okay. I had to pause them. Man, you guys have it on 73. I want to go back over No, here. no, it's on 70. It is 70. It is 70. What is the heat on? Spencer's a Antifa super soldier. <laughs> That's me. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move. Do I say no to crack? No. I said crack <laughs> cow. Not crack. Cow. It's like a and cow on crack. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. She's... If she was in my Discord, she would know that I make jokes occasionally. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, her story's not checking out. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Carla's heard of Hamtramck. The answer is fries. Look, now she's spending all this time typing. That's why her I'm trying long. to give Karen a chance here. All we are saying oh, is give Karen a chance. I guess I have to say. Karen's always in trouble when she castles Q side on the French. Even when she doesn't castle or castles King side. Not uh, Chet Yellow yeah. oh, Kangaroo, come on. These painful puns here. What's he saying? Come on, don't worry about that right now. Just beat Carla. I got bigger yeah. fish to fry. Well, I mean, I'm not going to beat Carla. You can do it. I mean, let's face it. But maybe I it's can. It's theoretically possible. Like, maybe her internet gets disconnected. Maybe I mm -hmm. Or, like, she has like, a heart attack or something. <laughs> I'll just block Then you're the favorite. Mm hmm. <laughs> I need to move my king just back over there. <laughs> now you're talking. That's the way to do it. Go on. Oh, I gotta get my queen off. The... Let me go here. Come on, come on. I believe Karen. Go get her. She's a go getter. Oh, mm -hmm. hey, Bonarici. Oh, look at that pawn break. Yikes. It wasn't really nice of Karen to castle Queenside, because her opponent's a WFM, so might not know about that rule. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the point. She's taken it back a little. She has much less time. So she probably thinks it's a bug in the system. All right, she's like reporting while she's playing, you yeah. know? Knife C4. All I know is two bishops, what else? That's all I know. Man. That's all I've ever been I taught. Can't get out of here. Is Carla's I... multitasking. She's in some other <laughs> chat and she's making fun of WCMs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're WF and that's what you do all day, make fun of WCMs. I can't get out. Mm -hmm. Let me out. Oh, she Let knew. Me out. She knew. Only two people make fun of WCMs, WFMs, and people in PogChamps. Oh, snap. Harsh. Complicated joke. Yeah. See, it's hard to know who you're even roasting here. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh. no, that was like the worst square. Wasn't the best. Uh. Good game. <laughs> you had her at hello. It was a little messy there at some point. Yeah. But, uh, GG, Carla. Good. Too much defense. Yeah, let's take a quick a quick peek. Now that was Fisher Tall. That's for yeah. sure. Hey, notes from Underdog. Okay, now this is going to be quick. So this move was inaccurate. You should take first and then play Bishop D7. After here, she exclaimed on you. And a problem is you can't go here because you're trapped, which you noticed. I thought, wait, go back. Yes. And I misread the situation. Yeah, you got to take here first, then here. Um, 
That's the way to go. Oh, just take one. Oh, take one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just take. Oh, one. yeah, yeah, Because yeah. this allows oh. her to. Take, oh, yeah, I forgot. Which I is actually confused. bad for you. But yeah, and then after that, I have to go bishop d seven. All right. Yeah, I remember Always now. played bishop. Darn. I didn't expect her to take the knight. There. Attack when I have opposite maybe. castle. Oh, yeah, at least I didn't lose on time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A six is definitely not helpful. You don't want to push the pawns in front of your king. That just helped her. But now she's already breaking you open. Yeah. I'm afraid to tell Karen the best move here, so you can tell her. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you got a counter That's attack. Kind of the best move. Counter, and then if she goes here, you take with the knight, you know? Yeah. Yeah, F6, definitely. And you open it up on the bubble. Definitely, 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 definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this happens when, I always recommend you to play knight H6, right? Mm -hmm. When they take and you and you take back, you play bishop G7, F6. That's the main plan. I mean, I wore the right shirt today for F6. Uh, right, right. Never F3, yeah. right. Go Cubs. <laughs> You missed a free knight on a yeah, 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 yeah. So here's what happened was, uh, this was right. Yeah, knight b3 is good instead of b6. Bam. Yeah, yeah. Bam. And you had this later, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, darn. This was probably not right. Mm -hmm. But she's going for it. Just take so it. she just thought take. you would take, which is the best move. Yeah. Then she was going to move her knight and try to, like, win your queen. Right. So when you played here, you're actually hanging your knight. But she assumed you would take, so she just played here thinking that you'd already take because your knight is hanging mm -hmm. and so you had to take to protect it so that's what the deal was there and then even here you have the fork again yeah okay. although maybe there's some counter play but whatever still probably do it no it's anybody's ball game yeah you tried to play bishop c8 which was the right yeah move. well i think she was afraid of this but that's not that great i mean that's pretty good Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, bishop c8 was the best move. Definitely. I was expecting you to play that. You were about to play it, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Like you said. I was trying to get out. And then she weaved the mating net around you. That yeah. was pretty harsh. That's a yeah. pretty good move. Yeah. I guess you could do that. Yeah. I mean, she's got a serious initiative. She play bishop b5 also. Well, Bishop4 then... Oh, no, no, right, right. Yeah. I thought here she'd win here, but the rook is hanging. Cool. But here I would just go to town on it. Yeah, it's yeah, not good. And then this, here is threatened. That just wins. Yeah. Probably best, but yeah, it's, it's no, tough. you'd assume white wins. Tough yeah. position. You'd assume white just know, wins. It's tough. Because I got the knights and the rooks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's still complicated. Let's see what the engine says just for fun. Yeah, white's barely winning. Barely That's a, barely winning. Barely yeah. a WFM. And is C4 the best? Bishop B5 is the best. Okay, or C4. It's the same, yeah. That doesn't seem yeah, like barely yeah. win. you. So that's it's like barely... plus two, yeah. Oh, I thought that was like yeah. pretty winning. But that's yeah, barely... I mean, that's solidly winning, oh, okay. right? Yeah, but it's not like, you know, plus five where you have to resign, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good game. <laughs> nice to play against the title player. That's hey, cool Tally Jane. Well, yeah. that was fun. Yeah, thank you for. Wait, I haven't made all my jokes. Oh, I mm -hmm. guess I have. All right, so I did. I get to step in, huh? I did tell. Don't right, so forget to sign up for class. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, have to go to class. Right. You just have to pay for it. Just use right. his, maybe use his light. Well, well you need you'll this be done light. before. I'll, I'll be done do in a minute. Yeah, yeah, you'll do that last. Well, okay. I put your mail here. Okay. So I'll I'll All right. One, one more game. One more game. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, there won't be an analysis. I've got to go work after this. But Baboon, me and you. <laughs> Yay, thank you for the 500 cents it is. Thank you for playing me, Carla. <laughs> I know it's a bad baboon. If you're not there, you you got to be there. There you are. <laughs> how, how are you only 370? Do you play on Lee Chess or something and you just don't have a, a lot of games? Or are you new? Which is also fun. Thank you, Tisker Tasker. I like the reverse London. London is black. <laughs> Hang on one second, because Ben is talking so loudly about something he should not be talking about. Hey, wait. Hey, I can't hear you back here. <laughs> he was talking about um, 
something that you guys would you know, love to know about, but that should not be talked about at all. Now, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, you know, it was just some gossipy stuff about some chess stuff. <laughs> Well, the truth of the matter is, you know, some of those Pog people play pretty good, you know. A little suspicious, but I certainly have not heard of anything other than what was mentioned earlier. But um, anytime you have a tournament with money, you're going to have some people that might play suspiciously. <laughs> Did I say Pog people? <laughs> I don't think I did. That's your words. I, did. I didn't say that. It's lagging. Oh, you mean chess.com or the... <laughs> oh, you can't move. I was wondering what was going on. I thought there was some kind of deep think for a pretty standard move. Well, darn, I've had that happen to me before on chess.com where I, I couldn't uh, move at all for some reason. Maybe it'll come back. You have like 12 seconds. I think I can give you more time. How do I do it? How do I don't want to do it? I've never done it before. Can't I give more time? Darn, I don't know how to do it. Oh, sorry. I would have done it too. <laughs> I've just never given anybody more time. Um, I did say some, some of the bug people. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I would gladly be a pog, pog person. <laughs> so it's just, but it is almost like a breed, like a sub, sub homo sapiens, subspecies, sub subspecies. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I actually have to go work. I feel really badly that we didn't get to finish our game. Oh, wait, you're back. <laughs> All right, come on, we'll try one more time. Now, no matter what happens, I have to end the stream now because Ben's about to get, do a class and i got to be involved. Then I have to go to karaoke, the most important part of my entire day. <laughs> Must happen. Yeah, this seems, you seem to be faster now. Well, whatever happened, I'm glad it straightened itself out. Um... Karaoke is tough. I know it's, but somebody has to do it. Might as well be me.
It's so quiet in here. <laughs> oh, you're on mobile. All right, last game of the stream. Last game. All right, last game of the stream. Yeah, I couldn't find the mate. I felt like there was one, but I am not very fast. So probably was one. But, oh wait, what happened? Uh-oh. It did not play out the way that I thought it would. <laughs> but GG, baboon. <laughs> You're not very fast either, notes. Um, yeah, I felt like before um, I, there was a mate back there, but I couldn't really uh, see one. How do you turn the lines on? I guess you can't see the whole board. I need to fix some of my scenes so you can see see stuff too. Uh, let me just look real quick before I end. Yeah, this says, let's see. What she said. Uh, well, there's not, it's actually not an announcing mate. It's not announcing mate. I'm letting it run for a minute. This is King G8, Queen takes. Uh, yeah, preferred me take with my queen rather than the bishop. Is I guess then I get a check. So I guess it would have been faster. Anyway, <laughs> um, back to more moves. Bishop takes f6 after king h1. Wait, where? After King H one. Oh, you're saying. So you're saying right after that. Uh. 
I'm not sure where you mean bishop, oh, bishop g7. Well, what did I do? Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, he went there next, so... Um... Yeah, that seems back as if he'll just take with the with the rook. And then I've got a pan too. I said maybe I missed in the Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. All right, never mind. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this stream, everybody. I know I did. Let me get out of this mode so that we look all pretty as we raid. Who are we going to raid? Let's see. Uh, oh, we've still got Pog champs going on. Almost said, <laughs> almost said Pog people again. Anna Chess is doing uh, Pog champs. Everybody's doing Pog champs, which I'm not against. Oh, wait, looks like uh, Nemo. Or I'm going to raid uh, Nemo. I'm going to raid Nemo. I love little Nemo. All right. Now go over with the raid now. Come on, don't click over. And then you can go do what you want to do. Now help me out. Make me look good to cute Nemo. You can do it. Bye. Love you guys. See you.